Hello, my name's Andy Law, and welcome to Lawhammer. Yay! Yay! Uh, we have had quite an adventure this week as we've attempted to set up our various laptops to play the sound, and apparently it just refused to work again and again and again. But we're here now. Excellent. So, that being the case, we're just going to dive straight into the action because we've had too long of a wait at this end. We just want to get started. So, yeah. I'm going to immediately pop it over to the players. Hey, you guys, did you manage to do any of your short term ambitions? Collectively, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well done. Okay, so what have we done? Single clap. We reunited with Magritte. Reunited with Magritte, was that your uh, short term And ambition? it felt so good. Oh, yeah. excellent. Good to hear. It was the party one. 50 XP. Oh, okay. Was there any individual ones done? Um, find Dagmar. I mean, I do know where he is. Have you found him? No. 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 Yeah. Do you know where he is? No. Yeah, yeah. You know. My short term is locate. But yeah, we don't know where he is huge. yet. We just know that he's not here and has been spirited away by others. Um, yeah, and when we find him, I still intend to dismember him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anything else? Anyone else? Well, okay, well, do we have a new short-term yeah. ambition? Uh, well, Lindsay and I seem to think we retrie retrieve Peak Leveler. Yeah. Or find Dagmar, I suppose, would be the other one. Or get It's a back classic, home. we've had it before. <laughs> <laughs> find Dagmar again. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Find Dagmar again? Is that going to do? My that feels short, perhaps my own more short, attainable than recovering peak level. My own yeah. short term ambition is find Dagmar. Can you have the same? Yeah, nope. I'd, ha I'd have the same. We'd have to change. Yeah. Well, okay. let's, we'll change our short term ambitions to find, find peak, peak level. Leveler. Fuck yeah. these guys. We're going after them. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> We've got one Sounds ourselves. Yeah, then we'll have one each. They yeah. have one each. Break oh, away. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Screw this uh, whole dope. Split the party in the lot. Party split all over the place. I love it. Right, so is that everybody organised for their short-term ambitions? Yes. Have we currently got a long-term one? Yeah. yeah. Save the Empire. Save, Save the, the Empire. Empire. <laughs> oh, right, sure. And we're doing a bang-up job. <laughs> 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 um, alrighty, so that being the case, next one is I'm going to pass over to the always pretty Mr. Leesk. Oh. <laughs> uh, tomorrow uh, on Inside the Mercury, <laughs> <laughs> uh, tomorrow inside the rookery, we are welcoming back a feathered friend we've had on before, Anna James, the author. Um, she wrote the excellent Pages and Co books, and she's got a new fantasy book coming out shortly called The Weatherwide Chronicles. Um, and particularly, we're going to be talking about like magical world building, so making fantasy worlds with uh, a particular sense of magic. The magic in this new series is sort of tied to the seasons and things. So, um, Anna's great. Uh, really interesting, and it should be a good chat. So if you've got any questions, get them into our Discord, uh, and otherwise, we'll see you live tomorrow evening. <clears throat> On the flip side. <laughs> <laughs> that being the case, I think it is finally, finally, time to say, are you all ready for episode 47, The Shadow of the Horned Draft? <laughs> The Ulrichsberg, the Fauschlag, the great rock where Middenheim is placed, is on the internal side huge, really big. And for the last two days, young Freud Jaegers have come to the conclusion that it's possibly too big for them to find a way out. They've gone up. They've gone down, they've gone left, they've gone right, they've gone backwards, they've scouted, they've stopped scouting, they've panicked, they've stopped panicking. It's been two whole days. In that time, several things have happened though. Number one, fortunately, Yumi, who was unconscious at the end of the last episode, wakes up after a few hours, her head ringing, her body sore, her finger, 
broken. Ouch. Father Leopold, who originally thinks that possibly he'll be able to help with the whole navigation, because he can sense where the flame of Ulrich is, the top of the flame of Ulrich, if you are so inclined. He can sense where that is at all times. But just because he knows it's up there, doesn't mean he knows how to get there. And multiple times you've made your way up just to reach a dead end. Several times you've gone up and found yourself in a completely different part of the tunnel system and found again another dead end or really tight crevices that you're not quite sure you should move yourself through or not. Mm. One of those, the good father is absolutely convinced, leads through to where you need to be next. Oh, he just feels it in his water, so to speak. So Alamenowife went for the sword option. Do you want me to make a cool test? <laughs> Already done. <laughs> and try to cut extra space through for everyone to make their way onto the other side. Unfortunately, though, that caused a collapse. Because Alameda wife is not a miner, or indeed someone who understands how stone and geological formations and similar works. There's quite a lot of panic, a big huge rise of dust and concern all round, but no casualties. You've got a cartographer with you. Surely that would help. She, however, is lost also. Doesn't have an original frame of reference. Is trying to help now because it's very much, <gasps> we don't know where we're going, but you're basically creating a new map with a new center point and slowly but surely investigating out. And the bigger issue, as you're hitting the end of day two, is food. And we're starting at the beginning of day three. You don't even know if it really is the beginning of the day. Time has already begun to lose any strong sense. Has it been hours? Has it been days? But it's certainly after your second proper camp. Magritte, however, does know. And indeed confirms it. It's been 49 hours and 38 minutes. Magritte is a mistress of the Wind of Death, which is also very closely associated with the Wind of Time, the Wind of Transitions. And with some concentration, she can very accurately mark time. And there is obviously a great deal of worry, given you only have about two days worth of food left, approximately. Alamenowife is out scouting again. She is by far the quietest, if not necessarily the most unseen of you. But what she has in another advantage is she can see. And the flickering flames of your camp cast enough loose light for her to move quite some distance down many of the caverns and through many of the quieter side passageways. Contrary to what the sewer jacks would suggest, you've not been encountering, <laughs> those that are still alive, you've not been encountering <laughs> all the nasties down here, all of the griblins. We've not come anywhere near the great fire pits that you encountered a few days ago, nor any of the goblins. Most of it's just dusty, empty caverns, halls and corridors, passageways some of which are very tight, some of which require a bit of climbing to get up and down. And occasionally dead ends or worse, dead ends towards potentially a cliff and do we attempt to negotiate this or do we do something else? But you do know there is at least one way up because you came down in the first place. It has been trying. And now given that you've gone through half your food, there are potentially difficult decisions to make. And as you're all gathered around the campfire, Alamenowith returns with some news because she can hear talking. Father can't, so clearly it's further out from when she was uh, scouting. <coughs> and she has heard what she thinks might be a group of cultists. Yeah. <clears throat> Because she has heard this conversation. 
Oh, I don't rightly know which way we're supposed to be going. <laughs> <laughs> As Donovan says, um, no, it's all right. It says, bring out the guide. And uh, the... <clears throat> Well, it, it's it's down the small corridor. He says, but we shouldn't really be going. He says, not till Magister Magister Magistry comes. He's not coming. He's not coming. He's been here already. We can't just abandon him down here. We can't just abandon him. We've got to get out of here. Our men and wife had crept up and listened to them. There appears to be a group of about thirty cultists. <laughs> <clears throat> and they have someone amongst them who knows how to get out. But that one is not providing the information to get out because that one strongly believes we have to stay for Magister Magistry. And it's clearly reaching the point where they are also getting a bit panicky. Well, fucking of you if you don't fucking tell me. Oh, no, I'm just doing what I was told. He, he'll have our guts, he will. So we have ourselves a group of cultists who are probably down in the depths, not too far from where you were. You've not gone close enough, lest you give away where you are. And you've already come to a conclusion, given the language used as to what sort of cultists they are. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Purple hand. Purple hand. Magister, yeah, purple hand. Which leaves um, you with information that you can bring back to everyone. I have returned. Okay. I can hear, I think they're purple hand talking down in the corridor I've just been down. They're worried because, well, presumably they're also running out of food, they're lost. They have a guide with them who knows the way out, but he's not telling them because he's been told to wait for the Magister Magistry. Magister Magistry, I think that is it. Right. Like Dagmar. I think there's probably about 30 of them. Oh. Mm. <coughs> Do you think we could. Uh, uh, how big are your fireballs when you throw them? <laughs> but, Elric literally yeah. goes ha ah, and starts <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Surely you've seen enough of them already. No, no, just, just. Do you think you could encompass thirty men specifically? <sighs> and miss one. And miss yeah, one. that's the thing. <laughs> oh it's, yes. If there's well, one who knows the way out, I was just thinking of my stomach more than anything else. I mean, they will have provisions. So exactly, provisions of not people. <laughs> provisions that they would have, of course. Sure. I don't knock it till you've tried it. Uh, what? Um, well, the, <laughs> sorry, D slip of character for a moment there. Okay, just tip: nobles don't really eat people. Well, some do actually. See, but... you just keep teaching me. This is wonderful. Carry yeah, on. Yeah. So, do we think? Could we I follow mean... them until they fall asleep and then <clears throat> pick off the weak? Well, I was going to say steal the guide, but... but Both. <laughs> we know, we don't know which the guide is. We just know yeah, they but have if, a guide. But if I get close to them, I could probably work out which yeah. one it is. Yeah, we I could mean, attempt a, a bluff, couldn't we? If yeah. they don't know that Liberan's dead, and we don't know if they do or not. But, but, but also, they, <laughs> might not, they might not know who Liberon is. No, but if he rocks up and says, I'm the Magister... You're going to have to work on your accent. Day. Last oh, time. no. <laughs> I'm Castor Lieberung. <laughs> ah, no, he's, he's not from Caraberg. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, is that not the right one? Just, <laughs> just do the posh one. They probably haven't heard. Yeah. He's a noble, right? Just yeah, but he's, so, he's yeah. got them... He's, he's not only that, he's a southern noble from Ubersreich. Who? Lieberung. Castor Lieberung. Lieberung. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I was found out because of the accent last yeah, time. Yeah, quite. Well, Maybe yeah. he puts. he used to put one on. Possibly. So? Uh, it's, no, it's a different title though. They said Magister yeah, Magistry. But he, he can say I'm the Magister Impedimente and I've got orders from the Magister you. Magistry that we have to go back up. Impedimente. And then we get up to the top and then we... Impedimente. Impedimente. Magister Impedimente. Right. 
Meaning, we also could just tail them for a while and mm -hmm. get the lay I, of the land. I don't think they're moving. I do. Are, they're not moving, are not they? When they're not going anywhere because the one who can get them out isn't taking them anywhere. They're just camped. Yeah. So they're waiting for the magister magistrate. But if we have to wait until they fall back, I see that's going to be a whole other day. Possibly. I think we should go with the magister impedimenti. It means magister of things. You get stuff. Oh, excellent. You're a procurer. Like, like um, provisions. Or results. Yeah, no. <laughs> what, 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 which means it's not you get stuff, yeah. you source stuff. Oh. Like your job is to get stuff. Oh, that sounds for like the a cult. terrible right? bureaucratic, nonsensical <laughs> yeah. job created yeah. for just sort of a cottage industry. Created for people who need live rats. Who oh. need silver circles. Right. Who need things that mm. would cause alarm if they were to be procured in, I don't know, no ways. a shop. Understandable. <laughs> okay, fine. I L need um, a petal. What? I need a petal. I, I think, I know it hasn't been too um, long, but I need one. No. You have them. I don't think that's a good idea, though. Got some wine. I don't want wine. <clears throat> you were doing so well. Is it because we're so far away from the princess? Well, she did have petals. All right, now you mention it. She might <laughs> have had some in her room that I found. Okay. Did you take them? Well, obviously. Ah. So. Intervention. Intervention. <laughs> I well, need a banner. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be okay for a few more days. <sighs> So long. Go for a test. <laughs> you draw a barracuda. <laughs> it, does, it does explain a lot. Zero one. <laughs> Nicely done. It could not be more of a scraping it than you tried, but you have indeed scraped it. You've got this. I saw runes that said that this temple was the the flame was the flame of Athati. It didn't tell you because I thought you might, you know, crow. What's uh, uh, what's Athati? It's one of our gods. Okay, which, which yeah, which is always going to be one of our ones, but with a different name. So, what do we call it? No, that's not how it works. How dare you? I'm sure. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just Ladriel is most gods that we think of, but this Atathi. Okay, who's Atathi, It Anantin. said to the shrine of Athati, and it was as big a flame rune as as they were going to the flame of Azurian. So, so who's who's Athati? Athati is. Um, it's now a good time. Hecate's sister. Right. Who's Hecate? <laughs> Hecate is the mistress of magic. Okay. But, but more, what's the domain of Athate? Mm. Yes. yes. So, but well, that, that, that wasn't a closed question. <laughs> <laughs> Just so we don't accidentally, you know, if she's really into, I don't know, Rocks, she, and we say, our oh, rocks are rubbish. She, if you were, say, an elf who was lost. No. No. You're, you're, um, you're being far too deep and mystical. She doesn't have lower theology. Fair. So keep it simple. Keep it safe. Um, sex. She's the goddess of sex. Thank you. Keep it really simple. Oh, right. You have, you have a... Uh, I thought like, that was Katya. Or your equivalent. Elves. Lower? No. No, wait. Anyway, this isn't solving our little cultist no. problem, is it? Well, a while. The petals would help. No, not having them. So we'll we need to move on. <laughs> Very cool concept. I swear, Difficulty two. 31. Okay, nice. passed by one success. A bead of sweat prickles mm. oh. on your palms. Okay, so you want me to, to, to do the whole I'm cast a lead around shtick? Uh, if that's the case, I would like my uh, companion, Marguerite. I think you'd lend some credence to that, especially considering your baptize and all that sort of stuff. What do you think? I mean, yes, I think much... that would be wise. Excellent. Looks like we're working together very well down here. May I make a suggestion? You may. That if they seem mm. hell-bent on going up, we can say that we're there to continue the journey and take the guide because they have lost faith. That would be ridiculous. It's their only way out. They'd need the guide to get out. Yeah. I didn't say yeah. we would leave it there. Also, is Marguerite not pretty much naked? She's got like a she's cloak. Got, she's got the cloaks there. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> we could have just tried that. Someone could have just tried to get her clothes. Yeah. <laughs> just saying. Where? I thought you were assessing a different kind of distraction. <laughs> <laughs> I have got clothes in my bag. I don't know if they're mine. <laughs> <clears throat> I love the fact we all stripped and took as little as possible so we could cram as many rations and you brought a change of clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I brought extra layers because it was really cold down here last mm. time. And look, you laughed at me for the sand <laughs> and the sand was useful. <laughs> and now clothes! Sherpley, no. <laughs> Objection withdrawn. Um, so yeah, you could be wearing um, your spare set of clothes. Um, absolutely. Oh, the so guys are matching twinsies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that makes it weird. Look, between the two of you, you're a very compelling character. Uh, commanding. And you're used to dealing with cultists. Yes, I am. So between the two of you, if he is the Magister Impedimenti and doesn't necessarily speak that much, and you speak, couldn't we trick them somehow? I could speak on his behalf, but there is a potential issue that you mm. may not have considered. What if they know you? Well, yes, that's going to be Which tricky. is also an advantage, because if they know you, then it's much more likely that they will listen to you. Could we, if, if <clears throat> we're wanting, and this is no disrespect to you, my lord, but if we're wanting you to perhaps do the bulk of the talking, could you use your medical knowledge, right? put some bandages on, make it look like you've got a neck injury that's inhibiting you from talking properly? Mm-hmm. That also would mean if you do have to speak and your accent's a bit different, that might be why. Oh, that is actually mm-hmm. quite a good idea. I, I was going to suggest punching him in the throat, but I think your idea is better. <laughs> and I think your idea is better. better. <laughs> <laughs> Go team. Okay. Um, I never get any bumps, really. I do that. think that physically, though, I would be more tip-top mm, if no. I was topped up. We, we watched you take one, and you are not helpful at all in that state. (laughs) Therefore, we should do it now before we need me to be helpful again. I've been very helpful. No, because I don't know for how long. Do you want some weird root? How about that? Would that help? Yes. Yes? How much do you want? This is good, actually. Um, How much does an elf usually take? Well, I don't know. Usually I only have weird root when I'm high on something else, so I don't really recall the dosage. <laughs> yeah, I've got a pipe as well. I've got a pipe too. It's in my I bag. don't like to smoke it. Right, you just want to chew it. Generally chewed. Okay, that's fine. I will chew it. Give it to me. Uh, just give a bit and then see if she okay. reacts. And... Yep, no, that's fine. You can have half of this bit. Like this <laughs> <laughs> can I have <laughs> half a drug? <laughs> <laughs> half drug. Thank you. Typical novels are stingy with the <laughs> As Marguerite says, it might be wise if you were to do the same. It would suggest that the smell will be around you and it would support that you are taking something for your pain. Okay. Well, the last Use this as an analgesic. No, right. Do the bandage first. Yeah, it's done already. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, actually, if I do it a bit tighter, it will make me sort of look a little bit redder as well, to be fair. That might buy a help. Or we could do that. No, nope, no, nope, don't mind. <laughs> Just my face. Thing, your broken finger. <laughs> ah! uh, I'll eat the weird roots. I do still think just a gentle punch in the throat. Nope. <laughs> um, can I please have a toughness test from Carhartt? Yep. For Inju- success. Toughness or endurance? Uh, endurance, actually, yes. Endurance. 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 Still. Four successes. Mm-hmm. Um, you're, you're getting a... Okay, cool test as well, please. Is it cause I'm cool? One success. Okay. Um, as you take... Oh, plus one. So two successes. Two successes, yes. lovely. Oh, uh, good. Um, as you chew and everything feels a little spacey, um, your limbs, as you put your hand forward, your hand to your perception, is so much further away than it should be, yet simultaneously is quite close. As, <laughs> huh. Um, as you suddenly realise what you're doing, and that makes you look foolish, so you can quickly stop doing that. But you were so far <laughs> away. <laughs> and yet so bridge. close. <laughs> yet so close. Is that the first time you've taken weird trips? No, I had another trip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Episode two. Oh, that's you? right. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Three. A little bit after, but yes. Right. You good? What do we What do we want from this? By the way, we can go for the. We want to get up, do we? And we're suggesting we're doing that by you're telling ingratiating the guys, themselves with the group. Yeah. 
Well, because we can't we, take we, it. Well, maybe you got a message it. from yeah. their magister saying, no, we're going back up. Yeah. The magister magistry told you, the magister impedimenti, yes. to get back up. Yes, because he's gone off on another mission. Yeah. And, and we're taking the guide. No, we no, need the guide all to go, take us. We're all going up. And we're going with the rest of the cultists. Yes, yeah, so we can arrest them when we get up there. Right. Take them into custody. What are we doing? Are we. We're, we're just all, cultists. Yeah, we're. Yeah, we're as part of the party. Posse. Okay, right, we, fine. Um, surely we're known quantity. Very much so by now. Let's uh, slap some. You got fake tattoos? Oh, they're wolf claws on the chest. Fake tattoos would really help this six foot six blind Sigmaring priest <laughs> in full armor. Why could we be known quantities with some cultists? Because we just got given the claw of the city. But won't they have been down here for longer? Mm. Maybe. I don't know. If they've been waiting for the Magister Magistry, he was down here before. Maybe. Because he fled after we attacked him. Let's just wear our cloaks or yeah. something. Okay, let's not, let's not overthink this stuff. Come on, let's do it, let's do it, let's go, well, let's go. We, we can also lurk very much in the background. <coughs> right. We're just a muscle. Hmm. Alan Minnewife leads the party of definitely not cultists um, <laughs> down through a side passage until eventually she hears, as do you, somebody calling out, there's someone up at Ed, I can hear them, they're coming. And somebody else says, oh, about bloody time. Hopefully... Fucking Dagmar. Completely different voice, not heard this one yet. Yeah, so it sounds like there's a noble. She whispers, sounds like there's a noble. <clears throat> he says, <coughs> Vegas. Oh, oh no. And um, you hear a, you hear a voice say, <laughs> yes. Female. Oh no. Um, <clears throat> Get ready just in case it's more bloody goblins. And then uh, I'll, I'll call out. If you're bloody goblins, fuck off! <laughs> it says, and um, you hear a bit of a rippling laughter um, from some of the others as um, the woman says, don't. They don't, probably don't understand you anyway. As um, he... <laughs> <laughs> he then says, <clears throat> come on out, wherever you are. He says, and one of them goes, might be just another one of those cavey things, the spider thing. But he says, bloody hope not. They taste horrible. They have been down here a while. Okay. <laughs> That's, yeah, maybe might have Marguerite announce us. She says, and looks at you all, <laughs> and then calls out, <clears throat> Hello, we are looking for he says, your leader to step forward. And you hear, <clears throat> who is it? Look at Limba. He says, she says, now Goofy. Oh, marvelous. Bloody hell. Thank goodness. Right. So, um, yeah, step out. He says, and she says, we're making our way through. We're a small party. There's just eight of us. She says. And. Everyone is like counting. Yep, yeah, that's right. There's eight of us. Novitiate? Yeah. Novitiate. And we agree. I was like, yeah. no, there's only seven. No, wait, she counts. <laughs> <laughs> she can count. <laughs> Um, as you make your way, oh, yeah, obviously, down the passage, <laughs> doesn't work like that, <laughs> <laughs> round a corner, and it spills out into light. And there is an encampment there that includes around about 40, not your initial expected 30, um, held in a relatively large cavern. Presumably, there might be more of them further out, spread out scouts or something similar. Um, at um, the center of it, there is a woman in a purple cloak um, who is looking over towards you as you're coming in. And there is Gerhardt. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> as you go around, that backfires. <laughs> 
There is Gerhardt. Could maybe is the bondage covering a bit of your face? <laughs> is <Isn't> that? <laughs> yeah. Too Just late. So You're going to be spotted. Uh, um, there, there is no doubt you will have been spotted as you make your way in. Um, as uh, does he have moustache? Uh, he does not. Yeah. Or a scar. Or a scar. Or a, scar. Or a big face. Right. We look completely different. Um, yeah, you look completely different. Um, as uh, mm. he comes round, um, sitting at the side, looks over and goes, what the bloody fuck is this? Um, looking directly at you. As he just looks at you, what the fuck is this? Who's, what the fuck is this? What, as, the, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> as uh, he... <laughs> As uh, he looks around, um, and one off to the um, side says, uh, Magister Impedimenti, he says, uh, Yes? Um, <laughs> <laughs> as um, he goes, uh, No, yes! No, no, yes! He says, No, yeah, no, no! He says, No, 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 no I'm the Magister I'm the Magister Impedimenti. He says, As uh, they all. <laughs> <laughs> Draw at the point that we There's so a many. A lot. We have uh, like Nurgles in. Uh, oh no. Don't worry about that in a moment. No. Um, no. What's one more? As <laughs> out comes a multiplication of swords, and in one case, a large hammer. Yes, good. Arrest that man. <laughs> um, imposter. Imposter, right um, there. As he goes, no, he's the imposter. He's the imposter. <laughs> um, as the <laughs> this this plan of not having to speak a lot was <laughs> <laughs> as off to the side the um, you're going to presume Magus um, says uh, this will be very easy to fix. As Good. Marguerite um, looks over and just Uh-oh. looks at. <laughs> Um, uh, we want to do some things, do it now while I'm doing this. <laughs> then turns to him and says, the other Gerhardt, that is. <clears throat> Why did we first meet? Oh, well, yes, of course. He says, well, that was, um, he says, oh, when was that? I was drunk. He says, I, I, I was drunk. Um, uh, hmm. When did we first meet? Well, Middenheim, of course. When? Oh. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Two months ago. Well, when did did Dagbar get? I don't fucking know. That's two months ago, right? Three years? No, I've just said it. Two months. (laughs) I've committed. (laughs) Say it with confidence. Leave her on. Yeah, it's fine. No, no, when she got here. Um, uh, I am happy to put an intelligence test on that because he's not stupid and what you said was so immensely stupid. (laughs) (laughs) Um, That I'm happy. Two months ago, he was dead. Yeah. Libra was? Yes. Yeah. You saw him die. Yeah. yeah. Did. That was four months ago. <laughs> yeah, but who's this guy? <laughs> exactly. Well, he's, who's this guy? Another imposter. But did he meet her? That's what I need to figure out, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> She's he also an Libra imposter. Wrong. When did she? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we're all imposters. I understand the whole subject. <laughs> the entire story. <laughs> 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 Five successes. That's not even five. Five successes, Andy. Um, <laughs> you have any, you've plus because you're over a hundred. Oh yeah, I'm, I am um, quite happy. Um, I'm not in his intelligence. He's not not his neat intelligence. No, no I'm no, quite happy 90. for you to um, amend that with one year and two months. That would make potential sense. <coughs> I mean, one year, two months, obviously, because what's a year between friends? Um, <laughs> as say so you were drunk. I was, I was quite drunk. <laughs> as um, she looks at you, looks at him. Looks at you. Oh dear. She says, as this one, the side goes, well, the blo- what the bloody hell's going on? He says, as she says, well, either he has been compromised, Dagmar is working on him, or we have a problem. And off the side, one of the other ones pipes up, a chap with a big beard and says, I might be like that fellow met the other day. There were two of him. Says, I'm thinking the same. Says, which means neither of these are probably the real one. They're these projections. Blessed by Char. Says, as 
He says, I'm no bloody projection. I'm bloody me. Who are you? He says, I'm Castor Libero. I'm Castor Libero. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I'm Castor Libero. I am Castor Libero. As um, uh, she says, I don't think either of them are, which puts us in a bit of a bind. As over on this side, well, Ma Ma Magister Magistry will be able to sort this out. Good. No, we've been sent by the Magister. <laughs> 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 he will be here <laughs> soon. <laughs> no, he won't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know that. <laughs> you know when we make a plan and we say, right, this is what we're going to do. It's usually what we want to do, yeah. Ed. <laughs> the plans are all, all great until you start doing stuff and then there's a guy that looks exactly like you. That was not any part of the plan. Marguerite <clears throat> um, goes... <laughs> Just like that. As uh, she says, <sighs> there might be a way of determining which one has the closest link? As over to the side. I just want to know where Magister Magistry is. I just want to know what the bloody hell he's wearing my face for. Where did he, where did he get that slug in his where, face? Uh, slug? Where that is slug? Why, look at that ugly top lip. Slug! Rubbish! Slug! Awful! <laughs> slug! <laughs> he says. As um, she, uh, on the side, says... Uh, it's hard to argue they're not cut from the same cloth. <laughs> At least we can punch a Gerhardt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're doing Sigmar's work. Like. Come on, let's wait for things to go south. Go on. Turns round. More weird room. Thank you. Wait, hang on, this is no. mine. <laughs> she um, was asking for weird... Oh, you want more? No, she was giving. Yeah, she was giving. Yeah. Yeah. I do it. Yeah. Um, as she looks know. over. Oh. Oh. As um, Marguerite looks up and says, a caster was wounded badly on his neck. And he has been partaking of weirdwood to deal with the pain. No, 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 no. That doesn't make him more, more, more. No! Stop. Stop. That doesn't make him more likely to be me. That makes him less likely to be. I don't do weird root. That's also not true. I do weird root. Sorry. I took a wound uh, in I, the service of char too. I, I, I made an error there. He says, you know, just, um, yeah. I, I wasn't thinking very clearly. He says, I, I've been taking weird root actually. I'm, uh, I've been, t I've been taking weird root. <laughs> <laughs> he says, wow. as um, she goes, oh God, char helped me divine the truth of this. As um, she says, it is quite unlikely that you are going to be given the answer here. We believe that this was Castor Libera. What makes you believe that yours is? Well, it looks like him, doesn't it? No. He doesn't have a moustache. I didn't have a moustache! Yes. I just nods. <laughs> <laughs> but, but... As the Magus looks over at the non-moustached, Castor Libero. Wehart, let's call him Wehart. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should just tease him. As <coughs> on this side. I'm happy with that. As they just all ho, 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 go clambering over. No, I, I protest. I, <laughs> as he is bound and gagged pretty quickly. I have a proposal that may Do sort. Be quiet. <laughs> she says, <laughs> um, as um, she comes over, pulls out a dagger, and drives it into the top of his skull. Okay. And cracks it, cracks it again, and then sticks her fingers in and breaks it open. More weird <laughs> And on the inside, green light spills out. Oh. I thought. Right, there's oh, an oh, exactly that. <clears throat> <laughs> as it 
flickers and dies down. As she looks at there's cultists all gathered around. They are X version of Gerhard. As you hear a crack, crack and then another crack. Marguerite also pushing forward to <laughs> see what's going on here. <clears throat> you gotta see it, right? It's very cool. And then plucks out a green shard with a Skaven symbol on it. The symbol of the horned rat. Not so precious. <laughs> Skaven. Skaven. What's a bloody Skaven? Looks over, shut up. And then looks at you. Hmm. <clears throat> it appears to be an act. Magritte pipes up with a, are you absolutely sure? Weird stone like that can be very easily rendered hurt, so to speak. It says, um, are you sure? I'm quite sure. I understand weird stone very well. Let me have a look. A part. She glides over <coughs> and looks at it. Mm. The rune should not be so effective. It says, I wouldn't want to touch that. Buddy! My lady. She says, could you come here, please? Yes, I'd like you to pick this up. <clears throat> As, could you hold it up for me, please? Hmm. We're going to do a test for her. Okay. You're so brave. You It is actually not what I thought it was. Says it's a nerd. Thank you. <laughs> Distressingly, I I think we must fear that we have been infiltrated, not only by the creator of this, but that they probably hold the original. This, as far as I can tell, says. This holds memories that have been put inside it. And then looks over at you. Well, let's see if you're real as well. As everyone just turns around <laughs> to look at you. As uh, this, this is Marguerite, or this yeah, is Marguerite. <coughs> um, as she comes forward, okay. And she I will says, still look worried yeah. for obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> I should like a. Uh, can entertain acting. Sure, though. that's fine. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I have acting. No, just your charm does, he get, does he get? Does he get advantage on it because of the weird trick? Um, he gets the opposite advantage because <laughs> he's stoned. Yeah. yeah, he's very chill. I'm going to give him advantage for that. You're welcome. Thank you. I like it. Fellowship. Just yeah, fellowship. Yeah. Oh well, it's passed. Zero successes. Zero successes. Better than none. Um, as she says, Neil. Now. Okay. Um, as no, leave it run. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, she places it over and runs, holding the green shard across the top of your head and around. Come here, she says, turning around and pointing to the woman who is the cloaked, who comes forward, pushes back her cloak head, and one eye is larger than the other. It's not glowing or doing anything, it's just clearly quite a bit bigger than the other. It is blue on one side and gold on the other, and it's iris. And she comes over and looks and says, if you look here, you will see that there is no connection. This is a nut, and it's not interacting with anything within him. And she goes, I don't quite understand. She says, ah, oh, well, this is holding memories, and if he had one inside him, it would also be reacting in a similar fashion. I would suggest that this makes our one the original. It says, unfortunately, he's high because he's in extraordinary pain. 
he found us down here. He says, we were sent over here by <coughs> the Magister Magistrate. He says, well, we are here to stop the followers of the prince. She says, huh, in your very similar orders to myself. He says, we were here to stop followers of the prince from making any further incursions down below, where apparently, apparently, they had made significant gains earlier. And we haven't seen the ones come from below, he says. Right, so, I think our one is the original. Of course I am. Yes. Stand up. A bit shaky. <laughs> As, and she says, well, we have been here for almost five days now, waiting. She says, yes, similarly, we've been down here for some time. Then he encountered us, and we are in a difficult position because we'd like to get out. We have a problem in that regard. It's not a problem, he says, I'm just waiting for... Turns around, but bloody hell, that is quite scary. What happened with his head? <laughs> he says, I mean, what is to say we even get the true one? Says Marguerite. Are we going to crack open everyone's heads? I'd say that we find him above ground. Uh, I think I'm going to need a fellowship test to be persuaded by that sort of nonsense argument. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> You're very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> um, as he's like yes, misogyny. <laughs> as he goes, well, um, well, you, you know, he says, um, do you think you can make your way all the way by yourself, all the way up to the top? Could you lead all of us there? Oh, I probably could. Excellent. Well, thank you. And he goes, all right. Um, it's all right. Uh, uh. <clears throat> As the Magus goes, it's sometimes hard to see the, the route through all of this. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite confused by it all. She says, we shouldn't be trying to perceive or understand the route. We should just simply accept that there is one. It's not for us to understand, it's for us to do. So let's do. Why do you, priest? Says the other one. <laughs> um, she says, Why don't you have one? She says, I do believe that we just confirmed you should not be trying to understand why, you should simply be doing. You just walk with no plan and it is provided for you. As Marguerite says, Wise words. <laughs> Get in! <laughs> Uh, I'm really not sure that I'm really... I thought you wanted to go back up. Well, I do. It's just... Well, what? Now that we're going to go back up? You just cracked open his head. You're not going to crack open my head. I say we get out of here fast. We were right to crack open his head, though, weren't we? Murmured agreements <laughs> from around the room. Yes, yes. Definitely. <laughs> Hideous man. And how can we be certain that he hasn't got the same thinking? As Marguerite says, no, he doesn't. If he did, he would have reacted to this particular shard. Which, by the way, I think we are going to have to keep to give over to the Magister Magistry so they can understand that we've been infiltrated. Do you have a, a, an appropriate receptacle, Birdie? Yes, I'm sure that could be And you should take that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I've got many lives. Um, your name, what is it? Uh, you're talking to me. As everyone sort of turns around, most of them with weapons drawn and just looks at him. Um, one of them says, <clears throat> His name's Auric. <laughs> of course it is. Um, she says as she rolls her eyes, <laughs> as he, he, he says, uh, my, my, my name's Ulrich. Yeah, of course it is. It's an holy name. How bloody appropriate. Lead the way. Um, right. Command test for leadership. Oh, wow. Wow. 
oh wow, that's like so many successes, it's silly. Um, <laughs> Does she have a new henchman? <laughs> <laughs> I'm called henchman. Um, not meant for each other, just oh. gather henchmen. <laughs> henchmen for your henchmen. <laughs> As he says, right, right, well, it's um, this way, back the very way you just came from. He says, I, I mean, are, are we all going? Murmurs of rrr. And somewhat unexpectedly, <laughs> young Freud Jaegers find themselves with a group of cultists who are clearly, actually, a group of groups of cultists. They are clearly formed into factions and the Magus is separate from all of them. She doesn't appear to have any form of leadership position, while simultaneously is quite clearly someone who's a bit different that they respect. It's also quite clear that what was their girl heart had also approached them separately and claimed to be the Magister Imped Impedimenti. Uh, were his shoes any cop? Um, his shoes are pretty decent, yes. I will have his shoes, because they will fit me. <coughs> Interestingly, one of his toenails, third one along, is more like a talon. And indeed, it has made a slight hole at the end of his shoe. Leave the shoes. Leave the shoes. Leave the shoes. <laughs> Leave the shoes. Shame, that's very annoying. By the way, did they have similar voices? Like Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I have a Take the shoes. That. Leave the shoes. Not for discussing in front of cultists. Ah, uh, it seems one fair. Of shoes. Yeah. Yeah, take, <clears throat> take those shoes. One shoe's pointless. I'm not going to wear them. Why do you have them? You never know when you need a pair of shoes. He learned that Sand. hard way. <laughs> <laughs> Sand and clothes. Chill out. I've got this. <laughs> So are we doing anything particular? They are forming into their factions and it's quite clear they move into small knots of um, uh, five to eight, mostly. Not a single one of them have more than eight. Eight is the oh, largest group. Really well. um, and it's some um, seven factions in total uh, who have all gathered here. And they're clearly working together, discussing amongst themselves in their little groups as you go. So you equally sitting in your own little group helps. They're all speaking Reichspiel. Um, and for those of you with very good hearing, you can overhear the core components of their conversation, which are mostly, thank the gods we're getting out of here. And interestingly, for supposed cultists, they're thanking the gods. They're not just thanking a god, it's the gods. Uh, through the course of this, for those with acute sense smell, um, some of them are clearly unwashed. They are a mixture of classes. There are people who are clearly relatively well-to-do and people who clearly aren't. All of them, though, look like they haven't seen a proper bed for about a week. Um, they're looking a bit on the disheveled side. But there's no scaven amongst them. <clears throat> I think if there were scaven amongst them, you would be able to immediately tell. Further to that, there's no obvious signs of mutation either. None of them are sitting there with big weirdness from giant tentacles. The closest that you have to it is... The Magus, who has one eye that is not outsized, but is definitely larger than the other. And as it looks around occasionally, it moves in a different direction to her other eye. Mm -hmm. Just occasionally. Most of the time, it moves as her other eye moves. But occasionally, particularly when a noise happens, or if there's a distant sound that you two can hear, the eye pops off in that direction as if it's reacting to something else. To, can I just clarify the interaction we're having with these people? Yes. Is this over an extended period of time? Well, we haven't we had just... the extended period of time. Okay, yet. cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. <clears throat> yeah, of course. Right. Of course oh, you're do you have <laughs> to Oh, no. Cut the break. Cut which, the is, break. <laughs> which is where I then say, if you have anything you'd like to discuss amongst yourselves or plan amongst yourselves, now is the time to do so. But obviously being aware that there is other groups who are relatively close. Mm -hmm. They're carrying their own light, um, so you don't necessarily need to have your own light. Um, and you will be...
relatively central in terms of the long line of groups of pe- folks. Are any of them scouting him? Um, no, they're not. They're just following their guide. Um, they're relying, presumably, upon their large numbers to keep others away. Yeah. <clears throat> um, excuse me, sorry, my, uh, Ulrich, is it? Um, he's at, you'll need to move up to the front by That's yourself fine. if you wish to do so. Okay. I think Excellent. before you do that, right, you'll be stopped by the rest of us. <laughs> yes. Where are you going? What are you doing? I just want to find out how long it takes to get back. We, we t- if you have just a plan, blend in. we talked about this, you're supposed to share. Yeah, yeah, okay, the fine. more you speak. <laughs> I want to find out how long we've got to, uh, to get back, uh-huh. to then find out how we have to spend with these people. And if it's an extended period of time, then we can't just sit around and do inaction because, like you say, the longer that we spend with them, the more likely it is that we're found out, the more likely that we're going to get shanked in the night. So, I would like to... Can I be alert to anybody reacting to this idiot shouting his mouth off in the oh, light? Oh, that's not shouting, that was quiet! Yeah, but people have short ears. And, yeah. and th- very distrustful. I say it in something else, I say it in classical. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. I should have done that <laughs> And uh, obviously none of them speak classical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you say what you want in classical. Kazza, it might have been a better show. No, somebody speaks classical. Who else speaks classical? Oh, Kaz is going to be a bad no, language like for cultists. Sure. Oh, that's it. I might not recognise it. Because mm. we'll be human speaking it, but we won't sound like dwarfs. Yeah. True fact. Mm-hmm. Nobody's hackle seems to rise. Not that you see. <laughs> Just as he's nudged hard. You just need to keep walking. That's I, think, all. I, I think the fever's setting in again. More weird room. Give me more weird room. <laughs> oh, no, wait. No. You look terrible. Give me weird room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give us all weird room. I'm so over this. Give me the weird room. No, it's mine. Well, I want it. Okay. It's mine. <laughs> Fine. Um, um, just what take some yourself then. You're clearly delirious again. I'm going to take that well because it seems like you're having problems at the moment. <laughs> Element of <wife> having problems. <laughs> well, look, I'm damned if I do that. Where did you get that from? <laughs> you gave me some. <laughs> oh, I did actually. Suck on that. If I don't tell me. <laughs> so. I hope to win. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how you massage pets' throats to like, get them to swallow? Uh, uh, hot, 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 hot <laughs> endurance test, please, Dr. Garhart. <laughs> I'd like to say, right, <laughs> out of context, if I say it, I'm a dick. If I just do it on my own and don't say it, I'm it's still so a dick. Hard, isn't it? It's so you hard, isn't it? It's so hard to not done it. Yeah, just don't do it all. Awesome. What? No! Yeah. Right, what am I doing, sorry? Cool. Endurance. 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 <laughs> uh, two percentiles out. I will do a little roll just in case, otherwise I might um yeah. Yeah, one success. <clears throat> chew, chew, chew. You know, it really does deal with that neck pain. <laughs> it's almost like there's no wind there at all. Which is really strange. It really does. Um you get this sort of numb feeling over your neck. It's just lovely um, as you're chewing away. Um <clears throat> Can I have something? You, you, uh, I'm Ella Minowin. We shouldn't enable her. <laughs> Better I'm the get, weird room. Yes, though. you can have some because sometimes people need to be enabled to really be free. <laughs> um, I would like a perception test from you two. <clears throat> oh, that's good. That's the best I could roll. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten successes. Oh, I'm at by just nine percent. Perfect. Wow. Um, oh, sorry, it wasn't you. It was you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so you're totally fine. Uh, so actually, no, no, it's for you too, but for a different reason. Um, Listen, yeah, quite. can you smell something? <laughs> uh, no. Emotions. No, no, no. One no. success. Do I have emotions? <laughs> you hear a voice, and it says something like. You got a lot of successes in a throaty, croaky way. White bird thing. Oh, no. White bird thing. It's calling. Oh. Um, you don't speak Castle, do you? I didn't hear it because I was one nope. success. No. <clears throat> oh, battle tongue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Um, so would I be able in battle tongue without making noises? Um, what I will allow you to do um, is do yourself a battle tongue test. Cool. 
Um, and I will tell you what you can convey, and you can then pass that over using the little rules that you have. Good job. Three successes. Okay, with that, you can convey three skill, though, core so. facts. Okay, those core facts must be passed over with three words each. <laughs> so three sets of three words. Correct. <laughs> I mean, I could probably just about do it in three words, but um, I'll do it. Yeah. go for it. Um, um, you, you got the max, didn't you? So, yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, well, can we... I mean, like, Skaven uh, calling uh, you. I can do it in three the words. Word Skaven because there isn't um, oh, an okay. equivalent. Enemy. Beastman or well, enemy. Was rat en beastman? Don't enemies. Rat beastman. No rat no. in um, battle tongues. Uh, what about, can I convey the concept of her allies Yes. But untrustworthy allies. Yes. So her untrustworthy allies. Mm -hmm. really? Her untrustworthy allies. That's your first three. Your untrustworthy allies. That's one concept. Yep. I guess. Uh, no, we're here. No, we are here. Mm -hmm. Calling you. Calling you. Kisses. What's, what's the. <laughs> 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 <My job. laughs> what's the Purple monkey dishwasher. <laughs> 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 And Elric understands battle tongues, yeah. so he will... <coughs> and will understand what her <laughs> untrustworthy allies means. So at means. this point, I will be... Oh no. I... I wonder if... How, how close? Sounds in the rock. Yeah. I mean, it could be... How, how long have we been walking? Um, you've been going there for a good 10 minutes, so it's not very long. Mm -hmm. um, you've <laughs> not long enough to say, let's stop for a break. Yeah. yeah. No. You, 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 you started off, you've fallen into your group, Could you I know the group star, get you've a sense. elbowed him and stuck weird root in his <laughs> mouth. Um, <laughs> Can I at least get a sense of if they're ahead or behind? And yes, ahead. ahead. So he'll, he'll kind of nod at ahead, didn't get that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so my first thought is protect the guide. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because if he gets taken out, we are no better off than we were. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have been marking mm -hmm. paths, yeah. but if the Skaven are around, they may have been on the hunt. I'm assuming there's a simple battle tongue for it again. <laughs> um, and it won't stop. Yeah. It's going about mm. once every about 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then occasionally raise you up, why bad thing? But in Reichsfield, you recognize mm -hmm. this. Like it's actually shouting, expecting yeah. you to hear. Yeah. <coughs> uh, you obviously hear nothing, and mm. Almenoeth will start catching the edges mm. of the echoes. I, I'm oblivious to battle tongue, right? I, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you, you so might be aware they're using it. Like, okay, I can see yeah, they're yeah, talking. Um, so, yeah, is there, totally. like, are we collectively just walking like in, in loose in, groups? In loose, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, but you're moving. Mo you're in. You're in single group file. Yeah. Um, in narrow narrow in the yeah, but a lot of them are quite narrow. Occasionally spreads out. Like yeah. You're again moving as a, I, I guess a long what, line of. What people. we want to try and do, without being too obvious about it, is if it does widen out, is try and speed up to get closer to the Yeah, no, yeah. Too, not too obvious. That'll yeah. be you just pushing past yeah. and moving to the front yeah. if you wish yeah. to do so. Yeah. Um, I'll work with Tell Adam in a while. Yeah. It will be the time that you should all go. Yeah. <laughs> There's Beastman. He's totally stunned. She'll just nod like, this is the, and touch her ears. Yeah, this is the hear. one time that we have the numbers in a weird sense. Like we've got allies, but, yeah, but it could also work out really well that. I love how you've got allies now. Yeah. <laughs> but, but in essence, yeah. we've yeah. also got fodder. Meat shield. Yeah. I mean, a friend is a cultist you haven't met. As long as the yeah. guy doesn't get killed. That's, 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 the, that's the thing. We want to protect the guy. <laughs> Fuck the rest of them. As indeed, you do eventually arrive at a relatively wide cavern. Mm -hmm. Our wide cavern um, is one you recognize with large fungus in it. Mm. Um, you can <coughs> buy one like this, which had um, almost mega fungus um, inside it with a slight bioluminescent, bioluminescent glow. Um, like veins moving up the side of their fleshy and quite damp sides. The uh, cavern at this point does indeed drip um, and the air is thick and musty, as if it's giving off spores of some sort. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scarves up over the mouth. Been, yeah. here, been here before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, quite. Uh, as um, the guide is just pushing forward. Now, if you, if you wish to make a movement, now is the time where you'll be more easily able to push forward. Um, but equally, you'll be more easily able to accidentally touch some of these large. I'm pretty clumsy. 
<laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you can be sometimes. Has the voice been progressively getting closer, or are we just not to really? It? You can hear it. Oh. And so, it's what, what what instead I'll, I'll try and do as best. I know it won't be easy, but as best I can is do my best to try and get a sense of is it still ahead of us or yes. is it off? Oh. Like as we go through this big space, if there's maybe another exit, is it definitely on our path or is it on another path? Mm-hmm. That makes sense. So when we're in the wider cavern, do we attempt to make our move now or do we hold in the middle? I think we get to the guide. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should probably do that. Even if our group splits a little bit. Mm-hmm. As long as we stay within line of sight. And if we're going to bump into one of my um, <laughs> comrades, um, I'd much rather it be me than you first. Yeah. So who's moving up to the front then? Sounds like Birdie. Uh, Birdie? By so with you, or you can go on your own. Uh, time, time. Yeah. yeah, he's a, he's our excuse for going. Yes, yep. yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so Birdie, uh, your heart and peeling Lure. off to Bird. head and to Lure. the front and of the group where the guide is. Loophole as well. Um, from all of you, I would like to have a dodge test. Your ability to move your body into a place that is where you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all bad. <laughs> One success. Yes! That, that, that's, that's good. <laughs> Crit! Oh, clumsy father! Not clumsy today! I mean, six successes, but you know, I'll take it. Yeah. As he pushes his way through, how about Gerhardt? That's been a poaching point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, One success. Hey! Nice. Um, <clears throat> a, a large overhanging piece of fungus. It dips slightly as you pass by the Head ducks under, is not struck by it. You are briefly caught up with the network of maids in it that pulse with their own lives. Stay on target <laughs> um, as you step forward. Um, and cool test. One important detail is also worth remembering is that Leopold also has Drago on him as well. <laughs> so, good point. Which may have made the cultists more likely to accept us. <laughs> it oh, did not harm us. As they leave, Alamin was just going to go to you and say, Bank those petals, and now the party poopers have gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Leopold will cough. <laughs> <laughs> Elmer, you don't like need the pooper. petals. You don't. As you arrive at the front of the queue, the call. good. Um, so we're up to the front of the queue. What's our plan? Now that you've got up there, he's just making his way forward. Looks up. Uh, hello. Hello, Elric. Just wanted to say thank you for all your hard work. I know this can't have been easy. He says, "No, it's all right." He says, "It'll be good to finally meet some um, Magister Magistry." Um, he, he told me that I'd be meeting him soon. Oh, good, excellent. Always. Has Magritte stayed with us? Um, and yeah, the novitiate. She's, she's held back, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah, yeah, the novitiate, cool. well, the novitiate pulled the trail in behind you, actually. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very so She should do a dodge test. <clears throat> she's well, fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we've, not made her, we've not made her character yet. So, oh, she's yeah. her stats are just out his head. So. Yeah. And the map is gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, realistically, she's probably the reason Leopold gritted. Right, like yeah, she probably she like, like made him duck for that. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that works really well. Yeah. That's neat. Because that's what um, normally happens is he walks into stuff. Yeah, so. yeah, totally. Um, <clears throat> as um, he goes, um, right, right. I'll amend Yes. I would like a perception test. What's it based on? Hearing? Sight. Sight. Beyond sight. Um, two successes. Not enough. Um, <clears throat> what if I spent a fortune point? Want to take it to three? Well, then you'd have three successes. Mm-hmm. If you were to spend the fortune, yeah, I'll, I'll spend it. Excellent. Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> so harsh. Oh, I think we another one. <laughs> you want to spend another one? You can do yeah, so. Yeah, I shall. Up ahead. <laughs> Up ahead, in the corridor off towards your left corridor passageway, you can see the dark outline of. You can't quite remember if you went that way or not last time, but there is the slight greenish tinge to the edge of the rock up ahead, just slight reflected light from further down the tunnel. White bird can, So I and can for see the that. The first time it changes what it says. Mm-hmm. I smell you, white bird. <laughs> I mean that I probably don't even need battle tongue for that. I could just go. Um, 
I'm going to say <laughs> very quietly to Magritte, to so mm-hmm. like go right next to her and say, Alan Menowite will obviously whisper it, like green light, left tunnel. Can only do a perception test of being that quiet. Ha! Oh, 44 she critted. <laughs> Love it! Um, as um, Magritte just nods once, um, looks over there, and then, in battle, oh, crits that too, crit my battle tongue, um, says potential enemies up ahead um, using battle tongue um, as she flicks her left hand towards where Elric is um, and drops in magic user. Be prepared. <clears throat> La 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> so that, those pixels. <laughs> it's, it's all clear ahead. Don't worry. <laughs> so what are we doing up ahead? Just keeping the guide company. So you're keeping him company as you're forging forward. I would like to find out how long the journey <coughs> events take as well. <clears throat> Ask. Uh, all right, my good man. How long should this journey take? He says. Oh, we're we're, we're only about. Um, he says. Well, we're in company, so we'll, we'll we'll be there by evening. Oh, good. Okay. Um, <laughs> You've been wandering around here for freaking two days and you're just like a day away from making the right choices. Mm-hmm. But we'll be there mm-hmm. by evening, good. he says. <clears throat> oh, so uh, we'll, we'll drop on camp, maybe, you know, have ourselves something to, you know, buy a tea or a piddle, mm-hmm. he says. And uh, we'll take the last, it'll take about some three hour. There's no climbing involved. Okay. We're in the upper layers. And uh, um, you said you'd be seeing. Magister, Majesty. Well, that's what he said. Oh, good. Excellent. He'll be very pleased. It's very good. It's awe-inspiring sight. How how have you learned these tunnels? I mean, they're labyrinthine. Oh, well, born down here. Oh, really? He says, my mother was born down here. My mother before that, well, my grandmother, (coughs) I suppose, that's what you call them. Uh, She, 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 my mother's mother, um, she she were put down here to uh, be ready for this day. Ah, says, in the family. Uh, a legacy of sorts. Ready for the day when the Magister Magistry will come. When he come, he came. And, I, I, and I'll get to see him on on the day, he says. On the day the Ondrat rises. Mm. Boom! Yeah. yeah, my, ne- my <clears throat> next move was going As to say something. Off to, to the Queen-ish. side, yeah. the <clears throat> wall. Blasts outwards. First thing <coughs> is from everybody an endurance test. One success. Mm-hmm. Five successes. That's good. Pass, but no successes. Um, you're deafened. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. One success. Good. Useless now. Five what? successes. Five successes. Good. <laughs> Two successes. Two successes. Good. Okay. Um, as the ringing. In your ears, as um, unbeknownst to yourself, you scream. Um, You can't even hear it. Um, So deafened by that you are. You (laughs) collapse down. Um, As bits of rock go flying out from in front off towards the right-hand side. And through it bursts 12 foot of muscle. On its front, huge hand. Mighty curled claws up as it bundles through gorilla-like, its rat-like head at the front, raised up. Its rat-like head is about the length of Yumi's body. Mm. Um, as its mouth, ah, filled with sharp teeth and an enormous pair at the front. Um, on one fist, there is a glowing green set of spikes. That burst through the wall That's as it then crazy. crunched, crunched, crunched. On its back is a great pillar of metal. <coughs> Halfway down that, there is a glass vial filled with sloshing green liquid, which spills out light in different directions as it goes. Mm. One of its eyes is gone. Its other eye is wide with horror. It's fleeing as it just runs straight across the path in front of you, hits one of the great mushrooms on the other side, sends spores oh, everywhere. Fucks. Everybody do an endurance test. <laughs> do we get advantage if we put scarves over our faces? Um, uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll reduce the difficulty for the test by one. we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, five, uh, six, five, six, five, six, 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 six
Good. 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 One success. Two, that's just enough. One is not. <coughs> um, <coughs> I have resistance, poison, and disease. I don't know if that helps. Um, you could expend uh, your success. Just say you've passed this test, but yeah. it won't be used. Good. Mm -hmm. um, as <laughs> poison and disease, that's two separate talents. I've got both of them. You've got both of them. Good. Just making sure. Because <coughs> in this case, poisons will be perfect. Yeah. Um, as the air right, fills up, that diseases in the pocket. spores <laughs> everywhere as it bundles through this chamber, <laughs> hits the other side, raises its fist, and punches into the wall on the other side. There's an almighty explosion again. Endurance test. If I'm already deaf, do I need to roll again? You do not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh -oh. Oh. oh my fair. god. <laughs> Hold on. Is that your dice tower? Yeah. <laughs> So no. I just double critted. Oh, wow! <laughs> to, uh, what was that? 13, 22 success. Wow. You resisted so well, you healed Leopold <laughs> Deirdrops. <laughs> I will be your ears. <laughs> uh, endurance, I think I failed. Uh, endurance, I yeah, I failed by 7%. Oh. Um, a reverberation of sound again blasts mm. outwards from the crunch. Um, Does my helmet whining um, in your ears again? Oh, actually, yeah, that gives you an extra success. But did you fail the test? I did. Uh, I so said, we'll I make said any difference. Um, make advantage. Uh, yeah, and no, we'll make it. Um, as it uh, <laughs> bursts um, out from there, causing you to bend over. Several of the cultists are doing the same, and then from the other side. Uh, yeah, what's it running from? Comes what it's running Blends, from. The huntsman. As a nose comes through, scales rippling down its side, iridescent. Heavy wide eyes at the top as it pushes forward and one long limb comes in. Long claws. For those of you who can hear and perceive. I can perceive. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't hear. Um, <laughs> uh, that's your perception. If yeah. you lose your, sight, your hearing, you lose your perception as um, your core bonus. Um, you're, you're daredevil. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. much. Not what the town says, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, <coughs> its back is about eight foot at the top. Its head, as it pushes through, is also about eight foot in terms of length. Um, as its maw opens and it looks round towards, I'm going to randomise. Not going to affect you. Oh, is it Draco's daddy? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I didn't roll the guide. A little bit disappointed by that. Um, as um, looks round and locks eyes, with one of the person looks up, goes ah, and screams. Oh, you were pointing at Dad. Right beside. Because <laughs> we're further yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, Wait, you're where further is back. it compared to? Is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's about right? two, between... it's two whole groups back from where you are. Oh, okay. Um, so you're you're quite some distance from so it. So let's as make it, it three or four whole groups back. Holds there, and the one at the front. freezes into place as a second pair of limbs comes through and then a third and a huge lizardine tail rises up. It, however, has no interest in you in the slightest. It's after its prey. As it bundles after, bounces into the big hole created on the other side and its tail flicks as it skitters down into there. The one that's frozen falls to the ground <gasps> as it's let loose from its gaze. <clears throat> Perfectly normal. On you, Drago has skipped down and <laughs> <laughs> looked down. It's lesser developed of its three sets of legs, pushes down onto the ground as it looks up and goes <laughs> <laughs> and hisses over in that direction. <laughs> and the bundling noise stops. Oh, oh shit. shit. Uh oh. Let him go, just let him go, just let him go, just let him go. <laughs> I, just, I, I can't do anything about it, can I? <laughs> um, <clears throat> there's a crashing noise from the other side. Amongst all the cultists, general panic spreads. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are drawing weapons, others are collapsed on the ground, holding on their ears. One of them's bleeding from their ears badly, as is the poor father. Yeah, I failed from his ears. my test too. So oh I yeah, yeah, you're you're it. you're down too. Would abiding faith help with this? Um, uh, that only gives wounds back. Yeah. yeah. Um, as 
he uh, uh, shakes there. Some of the cultists have got their weapons drawn and they're just backing away from what is now the big, huge open space that's been made by the mm. passing of these creatures. One of the cultists appears to be trying to catch butterflies with his hands. Yeah, from the spores. <laughs> and it's just yeah. reaching around. Another one of the cultists has just pulled his trousers down and is just shifting in the corner going, <laughs> um, like that. One of the cultists over there is trying to climb up one of the mushrooms sending <coughs> yeah, like, oh, yeah. spores oh, into the air as the mushroom sways from side to side as he's clinging <laughs> onto it, trying to shimmy up really badly. Making his way, uh, yeah, you can, make what, you can make whatever decision you want. <laughs> how that looks. So many gifts yeah. coming out of this episode, by the way. As he so many tries gifts. to climb up there and fails, causing the spores to shift. At the back of Almenowith's mind is just that small, yep, this is how the spores spread. It just makes everything around it relatively crazy. Um, and they bump into the it, hit it, and the spores go. Um, she's at the back of her mind, even heard about it once. Cool test, please. Okay. Uh, three sixes. Oh, a crit. 33. <laughs> oh, you've upset the GM again. Six. Damn it. Nine successes. Good to know. Um, <coughs> See, you don't need any power. <coughs> As. <laughs> we need to From go. to the left hand side, it is clearly returning. As Drago um, is holding off in the big gap, looking into the big blackness <laughs> that is the hole that was made on the other side by that gigantic creature. With a... <laughs> That's not a... <clears throat> Hi, mom, I'm back. So no, this is a real decision. <laughs> um, buddy, buddy, gra <clears throat> grab, the, grab the guide, I'll get Lua um, uh, you're too late. Uh, Leopold already has him, his initiate holding him in place. I will help with that. Um, <clears throat> I mean, and, um, there's nobody there's... might have been thinking of kicking out of me. Well, hold, no, hold <laughs> yeah, on. Okay. Um, yeah, you're going to collapse. No, no, yeah, quite. Well, I am yeah. Yeah. Which way are we going? And I'm not sure what we should be doing. Um, run to that. Just run to the rest of the crew. Um, no. no. I don't know. I won't leave the father. <sighs> what? I won't leave the father. Okay. That's Bring fine. him. Where's we're the whole point? We're not there. Where's the guy? But, but are you coming forward? Yeah. Yes. We'll come well, then forward. he'll see uh, you coming forward. Guy just at the front going... Yeah. <laughs> so <coughs> they're coming towards you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you can't hear. Okay. Go. I Go. I Guide. <laughs> Get us out. Yeah. And then... Do yourself leadership test, please. I'm going to scoop up Drago. <coughs> we can't oh, like a ball. Ball. We can't oh I don't think that is good. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, no. This thing's the leadership can first, I, I think. No. Can I lean down? It's not a crit, it's not a crit fumble. And the whisper in his ear. You can't whisper, you can't hear. Well, I can still speak. Oh, yeah, I didn't say you can speak. <laughs> yeah, but it just can't be whisper. certain that you're, you're whispering. Right. You can't <laughs> hear. Yeah. I'm, I'm fortune point. But you can say I something, but you, you don't really have control over how loud it is. I don't know how loud it is. I can whisper when I can't hear things. It's all, well, never mind. I, I used the fortune point for success. <gasps> oh, nice, good. Oh, mm. there, go. I mean, she thinks she's whispering. Okay, I'll, I'll just. Um... There's scaven everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, I'm, I'm just going to say, uh, don't worry, the Hordrat will protect us in Quidditch as quietly as I think I can. Then we can roll it. <laughs> um, she says. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> I've got some um, um, Freaking out right Small now. Scene. <laughs> so what are you doing, Garhart? Uh, well, uh, my my thought process was to run back, but then obviously I see all those you see him running us, forward. So like, saying, okay, go! 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 <laughs> right, right, okay, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. So I'll okay, run. so you're forward. Um, you're going forward. What are you doing, you mean? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll try and run forward as well. Okay, what's all the men doing? I'm sticking with Magritte and helping Magritte go forward. Okay, great. Oh, yeah. Bring her to Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well yeah. Strong, independent woman. She can make her own decisions. <laughs> I agree. No, um, I can just want to be next to her so she can dispel do anything. Do another endurance test. My weight. I'm swapping. Oh, I got the barest of successes. Oh, this is the crit. <laughs> That's the barest uh, of successes. One success. Oh, I got a new crit. And have a second D100 roll from yourself, please, Elric. Oh, here comes the hallucination. <laughs> uh, did you say one success, did you? No, I got a crit. One. Oh, a crit? Lovely. I got one. One. I got four. 
D100 test from yourself. I think it be your food. Because you've got the scarf around your own face at the moment. Oh, well, Ella kind of scarf around his face as well. Yeah, yeah but you, you scored bare success, so yeah. still fail. So I rolled a 39 for my D100. <laughs> is there a poison mushroom? One moment. Myth? <laughs> of course there is. It's You're a tree. <laughs> <laughs> And that's all she can do. Well, On your side, you rolled? <laughs> Wait. If I can roll back, Elric knows he can beat these spores by spinning spites, the the spell that lets him make breathe air. It's a shame you didn't do that before. <laughs> <laughs> if Damn you it! If has written my fucking magic rules, Damn I mean, it! it's only been a year. <laughs> uh, your test. 14. Uh, 14. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, you can either action or move. You're not so caught up by it. Uh, so I can't pick up Dragon. Okay, can well, it? you can. You can run up, kick him, stop, punt him, through. and then you can pick him up um, <laughs> as you take a certain amount of slowness. Yeah. And then you can move again after that. Okay, yep. it just means you'll be slower. Um, as you're caught up by the spores, you're seeing hallucinations at the edge of your vision. You're certain things are trying to get you as you look around, but yeah, you can run forward. You passed it, everyone else passed it. Um, how many successes are you get in total again? Four. Yeah, you're fine. And you got three plus one back. And it's so, a Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, Obviously. Always. Always. Um, always. always. Maybe if he looks like he's, uh, she'll go that way as well so that we're not. Out of my way, loser. <laughs> <laughs> Into the mushroom. Thanks. <laughs> and just, as I said, sticking with the group, making sure so she's okay. So who's taking the uh, guy? Well, so all that, I'm pretty sure no one. It was, 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 was doing to. the guy thing, but she's frozen now. Yeah. yeah. And we started running presume, past. But we're behind, so I'm presuming we will come up so, to them. Yeah, yeah, you And will. then I'm going to, my plan is to sweep the guide with me and Magritte. <laughs> I'm like one, one arm each, pick them up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because Magritte's the one that's been telling them what to do. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Love that, love that, love that. frozen, I'll, I'll go and try and just get out of move her as much as possible. Ready? How are we going to Eric's going to tits up. What are you doing? Uh, oh, I don't want to move. <laughs> <laughs> I've got smelling salts or something, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Come on, we're going to get out of here. <laughs> Smell it. <laughs> Just like to, cramming it towards the shape of the hole in the <laughs> can, helmet. Can you reach? <laughs> it's, 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 it's a stretch. Oh, I'm fine. She's um, open helm as far as I'm aware. Oh, okay. Yeah, fine. Yeah, All right. Lovely yeah. stuff. I'm yeah. just pushing it through. It's just sprinkle on her. Leave it in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 it's so astringent. Oh, oh, the eyes, the weeping. Oh, oh, oh you've got sensitive spell. Do yourself an endurance test. Oh, Jesus. This might actually oh, make Oh, I'm you sorry. Puke. I'm sorry. <laughs> One success. One success, not enough. As you then. <laughs> 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 okay, that's fine. At least you move. Splash! Oh! So much diced carrot. Um, <clears throat> where would, have you been eating extra things? <laughs> Where's this come from? We've all been on dry rations. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, as uh, you and Margaret. Oh, Taking the guy. Um, catch right? up. As he's like. Oh, oh, oh. Um, and then. Oh, ah, ah, ah. You what? Um, as you're. Are you taking the guide? Well, Are you yeah. running in the direction? Well, I've got no idea what's going on, so sure. Yeah. Um, the pain, ah, it's strong as you're going forward, not realizing how much noise you're making. Um, because for you, the just like, ah, 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 where everyone else is, they're hearing a very clear, ah, ah, and blood is seeping between his fingers as he's making his way along. Am I the same? I mean, am um, I less? You're less so yeah, than him? because I got only one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not much. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I can see, so yeah. you know, there's that. Yeah. But can you feel <laughs> no. in your heart? <laughs> no, you can't. And the guide is clearly not choosing any particular direction. You have whomever is at the front making the core decision here. Two choices. Choice number one is the green tunnel that was pointed out as a green tunnel by Alaminoi. Choice number two is heading off into the dark tunnel. Um, now, they're both black, dark tunnels. <laughs> Alam anyway felt like you'd kind of dropped, like, have you been down that one? Like, she felt she might have come that way. I'm leaving it up to yourself. And it, is it green anymore? Hard... Is it still green? Pardon? In the kerfuffle of all the spores and everything else, you have no idea. Yeah. I think that's the way. I've got a question. Straight into a grave. 
Christ. When Gerhardt was asking about how long it was, he mentioned <clears throat> the first encampment. Did he gesture slightly towards which way it would be? You know, oh, you'd be yeah, like, yeah. You know, mm. if, if you're if you're sort of talking about it, not like, in a way that way. would be useful. No, shit. Sorry. <laughs> I can't see. I'm covered in vomit. <laughs> Mind you, right, Skaven, case, please, I don't think oh, okay. if Skaven would ever hide in front of okay, you. Okay, um, So logically, it's the other way. Mm. So who's at the front? Who's no, the one who's most I'm free in movement? On the way. I think it's, uh, it's Yumi. Magritte. I think it's Yumi. Mm. Um, oh, yes. So which one are you choosing, Yumi? Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Um, I don't know. Left or right? Sinister Dexter. Two successes on that. Endurance um, test. That's right. the endurance test. Good. Can I also have a cool test, please? Yes. Oh. Always. That's either really that's, good or no, really bad. No, I think that's really bad. Is that's it really bad? bad. Cool. I'm pretty good. Oh, six out. <laughs> and a fumble. So I'm gonna, I'll re-roll it. Yeah, you re-roll it. Yeah. What a shame. Go, go for it. Left or right, left or right, left or right. Left. And re-roll it. Which one was left? So you're going to get the green one. one. As she heads off down there. Six successes. Sweet. Uh, seven, because I've got plus Good. one on that. <clears throat> you have a very strong urge, really strong, to start licking up the vomit <laughs> on you. Oh. <laughs> Girl. But seven. <laughs> you, you passed. Okay, yeah. fine. You can I resist do that urge. That's okay. Not doing um, it. And as you <laughs> um, are pushing forward slightly, um, you feel a roiling in your stomach. Mm, extra rations. What can I say? I'm a delicacy. <laughs> That'll be the rotworm. <laughs> oh, the, the rotworm is gone. It's yeah, gone. We need to get this sorted. It's not gone. <laughs> Maybe it's just normal worms. Yeah. Mm. Maybe he's just depraved. <laughs> And yes to all of this. <laughs> it all seems really likely to me. He's pregnant and he's having when, really weird cravings. When we made Gerhardt, me and Andy sat down and he said, now, do you think you'd like to eat vomit? <laughs> <laughs> it was a core I, character I thought that was choice. I like your like the one thing about my character. <laughs> <laughs> he enjoys <Yeah>. vomit. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, Andy. <laughs> you can scar me, you can make me grow a mustache. So this is my line in the sand. <laughs> Um, as the Coprophilia. party <laughs> moves off towards the left, pulling the guide with them, some of the cultists follow. I'm going to randomize to see how many in terms of a percent That's have fine. made it of the percent that I know that already are going. Ha! 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 I zero one. None of the cultists are going with you. That's actually it, hilarious. As, I love that. Good. Yeah. Um, as a horrific thing, right thing right Elric yeah. did shout, go, 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 and pass a leadership test. Would they have listened to that? Yeah, maybe he'll listen to it. So <laughs> yeah. <bad>. yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm quite happy for them to be literally out of it nice. with a, a yeah. mixture of terror, so terror, might not terror fear, your authority. Yeah. Uh, spores, very and horror. <laughs> Is the guide moving? Um, yeah, he's going. Cool. Um, it's, it's a bit slow and stumbling, but he's going with it. And with pressure from the rest of you, you can make cool. your way down um, this uh, side corridor. Behind the calls and the shouts, <clears throat> who is carrying uh, Dreadle? Believe it's yourself? Good. Okay, as you're making your way along, occasionally seeing flits of creatures off towards <laughs> the uh, side, and something smells off. Just close your mouth. It's probably the vomit. <laughs> making your way down. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. There is indeed a rather horrendous smell of vomit in the air. <clears throat> your stomach is feeling off. Do yourself an endurance test, please. This is why I call this guy a pair of You're typhoid fucking Mary. What's <laughs> That's a cool nickname. <laughs> right. <laughs> I would like a perception test from yourself, please, Alvin, anyway. Remember, I'm deaf. I know. What? Um, three successes, <laughs> unless it's sight, which it's, it's four, sight. four successes. In the uh, vomit, there's movement. Mm. Oh. It could just be the way that he's stumbling forward. But you're certain Definitely. there's slight movements in a way that should not oh, well, happen. I'm next to Magritte and I am deafened, so it's going to be hard to say this quietly. <laughs> yeah, you're right. But I'll pull uh, Magritte, movement in the, in the sick. <laughs> and she goes, That's movement in the sick! <laughs> that is a good album name. <laughs> 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 Because uh, she's got better magic yeah, sight than I do, um, and shit. To, to uh, which um, she will say, we need to get out of here. <laughs> 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 
To be fair, I did swallow maggots under Castle Dickens. <laughs> she'd be like, oh! I mean, to be fair, that was months ago. <laughs> it was some time ago. <gasps> you make your way down a twisting passageway. The footing is relatively even here, so you don't need to worry about tests. The screaming in your ears is remarkable, as is the hand that's gone over your mouth to clearly try and keep you quiet. Mm. So, yeah, well, attempt, not, not, to, attempt not to make any noise here. Um, the high pitched yell in your ears um, is drowning out everything else from around. The itchiness on your nose, oh, you're feeling it now as you start picking at the scab. Oh. As you're making your way along, picking at the scab. Oh. And it feels like you maybe want to try and scratch it off, but you have training. You you, you pull your hand down. No, you scratching can. my face off is a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> don't let don't don't let the spores the spores. Oh, you've got seven fingers. You don't have seven fingers. Don't let the spores win. <laughs> Just, you, you're you're fine. You are fine. You are fine. You are fine. As you're making your way down, <clears throat> and the room spills out before you. A wide chamber with broken bits of dwarf column showing old twisted bits of shattered rune upon the ruins. This is where we camp, right? There is a twisting of knotwork around much of it. It looks vaguely familiar, but in the same way that old ruins can look familiar until you get possibly the correct angle. <laughs> not entirely certain if it's the same place or not as you're pushing your way through. I've got birdie marked this. <laughs> That, however, is the less interesting part of what can be seen in here. The more interesting part is what's over at the far side. Another one of those great rat-like creatures. Oh, a huge mouth, sitting like so. A massive set of scars across its back. And standing atop it, oh. a great horned rat. Behind it, green light. <laughs> it's coming from I something behind. <laughs> and you lie directly in its shadow as you stumble into the middle of the clearing. It's looking right back. As it goes, oh. white bird! Yes! You'll have to stick, <laughs> You'll have to stick <laughs> Hi, I'm Andy. Uh, you've just been watching me playing Lawhammer. Um, hopefully you're enjoying what we're doing and you might want to go check out our Patreon where you can see all of the special rules that Andy Law has written for this, as well as all the maps, the careers and everything that he's done. Um, you may even want to fling a little money our way, which we can spend on lights, cameras, mics, or we can just blow it all on hats. Um, you may want to visit our friendly Discord community as well, where people chat about the episodes and come up with their various theories and conspiracies and so on. So um, any support you can give us, that'd be great. But whatever you do, like, subscribe and smash the bell for notifications. The look, for those that know Skaven, is exultant. But for the look, for those who don't know Skaven, is terrifying. Its eyes are wide, its maw is open with what could only be described as a fang-filled horror of a leering Its claws are up. It's wearing, however, ragged robes. Ragged robes, decaying in multiple places as it sits atop the great mass of flesh. It makes the other one, which you saw skyping in front of you, look relatively small. This one has two arms on one side and one arm mm. on the other. One of the arms that's up has a big long spike 
Mm. It's the length of birdie. One birdie long. One birdie long. In terms of its height, it's about two and a half birdies. Mm. The gracier itself is not. The gracier itself would barely come up to her chest. He's hunched over, admittedly. He has a long staff. With a crossed symbol of the horned rat at the top. Hanging from the central part of it, there is a single lump of unrefined warp stone. Just sitting there, exuding magic. Not the birdie is in any way sensitive to that. Alamedowith is. And just the barest moment of looking forward is enough for it to sear into the back of her eyes. It's like looking at the sound of chalk screeching down a blackboard. And it itches at the back of her retina. The father is oblivious. Blessedly so. <laughs> Gerhardt, however, covered in sick as he is. <laughs> covered in moving sick. Ever so slightly <laughs> moving sick. Um, um, uh, can see that and the warp stone actually takes his eyes slightly more than the entity that's sitting there. Oh, that's I would like a willpower test from you. Um, <coughs> I love that look. <laughs> Is it willpower or cool? It's uh, willpower. Are you sure it's not cool? I am absolutely <laughs> sure. Please make it cool. Um, I am, it's cool to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I'll fucking last fortune point. Oh, God. <laughs> Perfect time to run If it was cool, it would have been bang oh, on, and it, it would have been amazing, and I would have been really excited. Now it's just one success. Now. One success is better than none. <laughs> um, as you see it, a part of you thinks, yeah, eat it. <laughs> see? Yeah. And your stomach royals. Mm. Uh oh. You mean? <clears throat> Fortunately, it's relatively distant. It's across this chamber on the other side. Whatever is causing the glowing light, it's spilling out from behind it. So you don't need to immediately just run like super fast. Although <laughs> that's a sc ah, screech to a halt. Yeah, nope. Turn around and go the other direction is the first instinct. Uh -huh. um, but that staff. That staff. Do yourself a cool test. Elric! Well, you get to do a cool test. <laughs> it's a big thing. <laughs> uh, you're currently still sitting on action or move mm -hmm. um, because you are a little bit high, a little bit high, a little bit high. Up and up, up, up. Um, as you come skidding around the corner and see that. You're not convinced it's real. You're not convinced it's not real. You're not convinced that you're seeing what's actually there. You've got a mixture of your rational mind that's sitting behind the reality of what's lying in front of you and the awareness that you are probably a little bit out of it. He's aware that he's potentially seeing things, but he's also aware, ah, it's a complicated headspace. Yeah, so he'll just pause. He'll drop Drago. 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 Um, and he's just going to wait to see what everyone around him so, is doing. At the top of the initiative is Alamenoi. How is she responding? Birdie has prepared me for these moments. Okay, good. She's, and, and I don't want to look at that warp stone anymore. <laughs> so she's just going to go like and prostrate herself. Prostrate herself? Assuming that Birdie's going to do it. the same. And she'll pull Birdie down with her if okay. Magritte comes down. That sounds good. Birdie is oh, doing God. what? I am going to say Exalted Master and prostrate myself with all the elegance I can do. Exalted Master in what language? Reich, uh, he's speaking Reich. Because he more. likes to speak Reich. Yeah, he so does. I will speak that too. Okay, sounds good. Okay, as you... Put yourself right down now. He's not into florid stuff. Indeed, Skaven aren't. So that whole uh, unlikely, far more likely to be just flattened. 
I have to be Fast. careful because I'm wearing plate mail. I'm not used to doing <laughs> this. Don't really do that. Clonk, 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 clonk. Yeah. Clon. Yeah. I can try for elegant, but it's going to be. Sounds um, yeah. good. Your novitiate is just going to stare on in horror. Um, and let's do inevitable test. It's fear at the moment. Um, but if that thing charges, it will turn to pure terror. Um, and that will be the same for everyone else. You are um, being pushed down. I will um, get down. Uh, Gerhard, how are you responding? You can see her already get, getting down um, you, well, in front of you. You mentioned there was a... Um, it looks tasty. Yeah, it does. How right. tasty? What were I mean, you, 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 you're, you're not doing anything. You passed. Shay Louis taste. <laughs> <laughs> Shay Louis taste. Sprint. Kim <laughs> deck bone ripper. See you later, mate. <laughs> um, no, I'll go on the floor as well, but I will continue to try and just. How are you going on the floor? Are you on one knee? Are you flattening yourself? I'll do it, I'll do it the, exactly the same way. Okay, so yeah. get down, watch her, down. and then but flatten just, yourself. Just enough so I can angle, just so I can still look at the walk stone. Just to know. Making eye Yep, okay. love it. Okay. You may. Uh, I got. Am I resisting a noble? I know. <laughs> and then one success. Yeah. <laughs> so we are doing? I don't know. Does that change anything? Nope. Okay. What are you doing? Um, so now the only people standing up are us. Yep. <laughs> Great. Um, what what did what did the guide do? The guy. The, the guide. guide. Oh, the guide. Sorry, I heard the guy. Um, the guide is just sitting there dumbfounded at the moment. Okay, um, interesting. Uh, he was getting pushed forward With by me and uh, you and so Magritte. So um, he's yeah. more than likely going to yeah. follow down. Magritte's going to follow suit as well. So they're going down. Um, knowing this man, <laughs> poker face. <laughs> I I might try and pray. Um, Excellent. And I'll pray. I'll I'll can I pray in his ear? I don't know how far we are, to, so that he knows that I'm doing something relevant ish. How? And but because of the story I tell. Okay, good. Just double checking. Um, and then. Uh, I'll also be like, you know, and hopefully, well, you ain't seen me, right? And then he doesn't have to prostrate himself because he won't see us, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That, that's yeah. totally can I makes just, sense. Before we do anything further, can I just establish how far away Gerhard is from you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on. <laughs> yeah, she's on the other side of the cabin. Yeah, I know. I have to really 20 meters it. away, at least 50 paces, maybe 400. <laughs> Coming on this camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's <is> nice. <laughs> <laughs> You're all cowards. <laughs> I'm gonna help your friend. <laughs> It screams in exultation. You recognize the tone. Mm -hmm. You know that it's happy. It's in a good mood. That's a terrible sign. Um, indeed. <laughs> um, uh, and it lifts up this hand, twists slightly on some ropes, yanks slightly, and the thing lurches forward. Two humongously thick forearms being used like front legs. Its other one raised up with its one birdie length spike sticking out from the top. As it gets closer, those of you who are brave enough to look up can see the rust and the bits of viscera. It's been used relatively recently. And as it makes its first lurching step forward behind, are more. Guard. Crump. In red armor, mm -hmm. crump, red crests, crump. Each and every last one of them, black furred, crump. And they're waiting for some form of order, one presumes, as it starts moving. You may. Uh -huh. Let's see how this turns out. You can do it, you I can do it. So can I pray? Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Um, We're all doing it. As she starts <laughs> whispering about Renald, and how Renald slipped away with <gasps> her friends. Oh my god. Is it really bad? Was it 18? 
Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh my god. Was it 88? Yeah. Ooh, right by work. Ooh, I, I love re-roll. it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to re-roll. I'm interested to see what the re-roll is. <laughs> Uh, that's that's right. Right. It's four success. Um, it crumps forward as she goes, you wait, ah, and a uh, immediate snap, crack of lightning courses out from the tip of the staff directly into you, mate. Right. It's instant. Oh. A flash that leaves anyone that can see with a white outline, a scar in their vision where it was. And that's a flash that fills the cavern. It causes D100 damage. Oh, oh my god. gosh. Oh my god. god. You take 99 damage. Oh my <laughs> god. You okay? Are you still standing? Daddy, what the fuck? <laughs> Did I teach you nothing? 99. Fine, you're on your own. <laughs> Crack as it slashes over and do you spend a fake point? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, see, it might be okay. <laughs> yeah, roll and see what the crit is. Yeah, roll to see what the crit is. <laughs> oh, 99. <laughs> oh. It's only a plus 80 something crit. <laughs> Could you, you, you imagine that if it was a one? On <laughs> but, no, I don't. One it just does, it does exactly. Um, and that goes off whenever someone rolls a double. Every single time, a success double. or fail. Oh. Okay, and the father senses it and knows it. Oh, so he says, don't roll doubles. Don't roll doubles. <laughs> don't roll doubles. Don't roll doubles. In that, Crits he knows, and bad. He knows that, it, it, that it responds to Just does stuff. magic, mm-hmm. which he can interpret as to what that means in terms of it would respond to him possibly doing things too, mm. as if he's somehow manipulating things around him. You can figure that out in your own head any way you wish. See, 14 points I get, but like doubles, everybody gets doubles. Even sure. mundane PCs can, Dude, uh, NPCs can crit us. How long have you been playing this game? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> bro, like, just see you on the flip side, man. See you on the flip side. Even boring mud <laughs> people <laughs> can get crits. This is, this is going to annoy the party so much. <laughs> so. Oh, Alex, <clears throat> action. Uh, I'm now going to finish off what happens with yeah. uh, poor old Dume first. Um, <laughs> I fake point. Yes. Um, as the lightning crashes down uh-huh. and sparks directly in front of her, um, uh-huh. causing the big entity there to look up at its staff I need like this. To, I need to look at some rules. I don't have it with me. Um, so you've got a choice. You can either... A, be out, you're unconscious, you survive this particular situation, or B, two. you're totally fine. <laughs> there, the problem is though, I don't know, I can't remember what the rules are for my chaotic blood trait. Your the, divine service. My divine service. I don't know if it's every time. It's, every time you spend a fate point, you roll a die. No, no, the, that's the other one. It's the one where if I rolled an eight, then I don't take the damage. Something else does. Yeah, you roll one die. But that'd be before spending the fate point. Yeah, but that you, would be you, before yeah. spending. Yeah. But I don't know if I can choose because recently when that's happened. Go check it up. Let's get the exact wording while you're dealing with that. Is it the chaotic bud? Yeah. Let's yeah. go check that so. one up. I will find that one up. There we go. All it. So well. <laughs> <laughs> I hesitate to see it, but what's our doing? <laughs> And then he got high, and then he got... I, I pull out a sign and Creek just goes, don't with me. <laughs> <laughs> put it away again. Elric does not think this is real. <laughs> I think that's fair. So he will prostrate himself. Oh, well, wait! And prostrate Drago. <laughs> <laughs> just to be honest. Just to make sure. Just to make sure. His little legs like flat out. <laughs> oh, oh, that's brilliant. Okay, push him down. <laughs> <laughs> and he's really proud of himself. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the chaotic blood treat. I've only just managed to get those. Oh, yes, you're out. Very quick, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. Sorry, I'll, I'll keep spinning it out. Uh, and then Drago says, uh, <laughs> Come on, Andy, quick. <laughs> right. it's, not, it's not doomed. Can you remember what it was called? Divine, Divine Servant. Servant. Divine Servant. Divine Servant. Okay, so Divine so, Servant. One of the gods is sending Divine Servant to watch over you. Although which god and the motivations behind this are unsure. Whenever you receive a blow, 
A blow. A blow. Mm -hmm. Resulting in a critical hit. Yes. If your opponent scored an eight on either of his percentile oh, okay. dice, his <laughs> gendered language, Andy, tut tut. Uh, it's an old, old, old file. This is like written back in the. <laughs> back when we only had one gender. There was only one sex. In the days of Adam. Oh, no. Before the red thing. Uh, <laughs> your silent ally, ally steps in, reducing that uh, critical to a plus one critical. Or a zero one zero five result if you. So I rolled okay. ninety nine. So, so I'll take yeah, it on yeah, the ninety nine yeah. roll. So yeah, cool. cool. Um, mm. And then we'll remember that for next time. Mm. Thanks. Right. Cool. Well, That's yes, I cool. guess I use a fate point. Um, Danny now is survive this. Yep, Danny yeah. means you will survive. <laughs> and you're yeah, not yeah. involved in the rest of. Yeah, yeah, this. totally. You're just basically zapped. So you could get to the end of it and stand up and we're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is also a potential outcome, but it means that you no longer need to worry. You're fine. Mm. Or you can just be fine and still involved. Well, I I would only have one fate point left, so <sighs> I might go down, down and out. Yeah, good move. One Crap! The as the down. lightning strikes her and ripples down her body. <clears throat> Smoke. <laughs> rises up from her. Uh-oh. Um, as <laughs> and a yank on the rain as it looks up. You know it's that cool. Looks up at the staff and looks down. <laughs> and then it hops up off the back and drops down to the ground in front. Lightly, its tail rising up and flicking and then snapping slightly to the side. Um, as it raises the staff up again to see if it happens again. The bit of warp stone dangles as it lifts it up, looks, looks over. <sighs> Smoke raises from Yume's corpse. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> Probable corpse. As Elric shushes Drago. <laughs> <laughs> as it looks from side to side and goes, <laughs> And then comes forward to where White Bird is and says, White Bird thing. And it taps the staff <laughs> on the back of your metal head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will, I will. There is a chance it will go off <laughs> by your very presence. Mm. Only on a zero zero. Oh. Yeah. But I'm still going to roll it. Oh, uh, 59, so boring. Um, as it clatters on the back, suggesting take your helmet off. I will what, remove my helmet. What would that sound like, Andy? What the? Tongue. No, I'm not doing that. Oh. <laughs> Tongue. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> nice try. So, uh, as you undo it, and it paces backwards and forwards slightly, and then, <laughs> oh, oh! Allies, Master. Who? Names, yes! Yes! Names! Okay. Mm. Names, yes. Goes over. Elfing! <coughs> and spits on you. Ooh, I'll just daddy. I'll just cower. Mm. Mm. Good. I will I will introduce them. First names only. So what are you say? Uh Alamena wife, Master. Yeah. Comes over and it kicks you in the head. Ow! With its clawed foot. <laughs> um, as it pulls back. Cack! Um, and then moves um, its staff to its other hand and pulls out a rusted blade. It drips. And where the drips land on the ground, it's green and ever so slightly glowing as it steps forward, looks over towards where the father's hunched over body is and the novitiate looks. What, what? Leopold. Emmanuel. And Emmanuel. Losing! Yeah, yeah, yes! As it says, she says, oh, you're getting lost in your queekish. You almost called her in it. <laughs> All non skaven are it. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's. Mm. Um, <clears throat> as um, she goes, Sigma, preserve me. <sighs> um, as it backs off. What? Sigma thing? No, no. 
Right. She makes maps master. She has her uses. Um, he pokes towards her. I'm going to let Andy roll this. <laughs> it is a cool <laughs> test for her. Um, it is indeed 40. She doesn't have advantage, I think, for fairly obvious reasons. I think that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, no, she failed that. <clears throat> Dead. <laughs> She's gonna run. <laughs> As um, she uh, uh, stands up and runs. Oh, no. <laughs> it says. As it goes. Because she's my hedge person. Yes, can I spend a fortune <laughs> point? You can on her behalf. No, still a fail. <laughs> it's <laughs> less bad a fail. <laughs> How many successes? Uh, uh, fails. Three fails. fails. So far, yeah, yeah, she's <laughs> off. Um, and, she, <laughs> and she's a scar up. It just laughs. As um, watches it go. <clears throat> and you remember being told off by the Grey Seer. <clears throat> the word for he is basically all Skaven because their women folk are brood mares effectively mm. and are very rarely out. And all humans are something else. It's because they're all, all the ones you see, he's. Mm. You're an it. Oh, <clears throat> As he looks by and then goes, Gobby young blood, yes! He <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> goes, Yes! Gobby young blood! As the staff. <clears throat> well, <laughs> power test, please! <laughs> nom, it's nom, like nom, a big nom, old nom, lollipop. Nom. Just, nom, just... nom, nom. Oh, you passed. Pass. <laughs> Zero successes. successes. How many? Zero. Zero. Yes. Um, as he looks up, and his tongue literally does this. <laughs> <laughs> as it goes, creep, creep, and thing, yes, and pokes it towards you as if to say, ooh, ooh, what's happening here? <laughs> Clearly excited by yeah, it, it so, moves yeah. backwards from side to side, almost capering as it moves in and just a bit closer. Yes, yes. <clears throat> Do yourself a willpower test. Uh, <laughs> can it be cool? Uh, no. <laughs> 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 this is about being chill. This is whether you like the warp stone or not. We've all been there. I <laughs> pass mm. with four. Mm. Nice. <clears throat> what are you doing? As this thing Don't is being. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> but the smell of charred human is so appetizing. <laughs> Make sure oh, yeah, that's a good point. It's a real smorgasbord. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, this is not how you may want it to be where eaten is, by Where is Yume in comparison Ooh. to Gerhardt right now? <laughs> um, off to the side. Um, Close uh, or far? Uh, not that far. Off I'm, to the side. To I'm going right. to use enough of this sort of like capering weird uh, movement forwards to just shift myself just close enough that I could potentially just touch a um, wrist and try and do a pulse. Okay, so you're trying to uh, so you're uh, keeping your head down. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, keeping yeah. your head down, move over. Then I would like from you an athletics test. Oh, what? I know. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop doing things. <laughs> <laughs> everyone. Yes. Stop doing Everybody's things. Everybody's failing. Scale so of many. Work. So many fails. <laughs> okay, as as um, showing his extraordinary coordination, he's like. <laughs> fumbling behind himself before he even realises how badly he's doing it as the staff wallops down into the soft part of his muscle on his bicep um, uh, with a mighty thwack. It's nothing more than a dead arm worth okay. of pain, yeah, yeah. probably, assuming that I don't roll a crit. Well, don't do that. <laughs> you know the rule, Andy. Yeah, you know the rule. <laughs> Oh, I rolled a crit. Oh! oh! I'll take it if I get the XP. <laughs> I rolled a crit! Oh, um, so, nasty! So, so he's rolled a double, so it goes off and hits him? No, it goes off and it hits him. Oh, that seems harsh. And it is. It doesn't. Yeah. It never hits him. I told ever. you to stop doing He's blessed this. by the horned rat. You take 91 wounds as oh. lightning crashes out. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for more tests. Oh, <laughs> That's why they were saying, stop testing! Stop testing! 91 wounds? 
Yeah, well, yeah, I'm going to spend a fake point. Wait, is it reduced by your toughness? <laughs> uh, <just> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> um, oh my god, yeah, it's, that's a fake point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know how this works because I've only I've got two fake points, yeah, but one good. of them is saved for somebody else. Yeah, so, um, so that means you're, spend... you're that means you're on zero fake points in your own count. Um, but you still get the, the fortune point for holding that one, which okay. means you are now down on to dooming uh, working. Right. So the Lovely dooming stuff. talent will currently work for you, which means if you die not according to your dooming, you can roll a die and possibly survive it. Nice. Love that. Um... Um, as the um, lightning crashes down towards you, yep. I presume you're down and outing, or are you downing and inning? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else wants you out. <laughs> That's the you want to be out. <laughs> we're, going, we're going for four hours in this scene, so we just want to sit there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, in fact, do you know what? It's quite poetic in that I was trying to, yeah, I'll, I'll down and out, but. Yeah, love it. Here's. <laughs> oh, blip. A nice. Sass, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fall onto the warp stone on the staff. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> From the warp stone crashes down and ripples up with green lightning across his body. Pain obviously lashes mm. um, through you. And for a brief moment, just a brief moment, you see deep into somewhere you shouldn't. Oh no. And for a brief moment, you get a sense of just how powerful this thing before you is. This gray seer this representative of a god. And you are also aware, and you don't know how, that you're not so dissimilar to it. <coughs> Smoking boots. That'll be the ones you can. The ones that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was a reason you brought them. <laughs> Pair of nice shoes. <laughs> hey, Ulrich. Oh, um, as it looks at the staff and then again, much like last time, puts it over. Uh, yes, yes. There, there is a trick. Kicks slightly. Uh, Gobby dead. No! 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 Need new Gobby young blood now. Yes. Um, then turns down to you. Ho! Oh! Pointing over towards Elric. It is Elric. Hey, Elric. I hesitate to ask. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's been channeling the whole. Um, should I roll anything to see if he's recovered from his no, no! <laughs> yes no yes or is he... just lie there is... just lie there <laughs> hear me out if you roll a double you'll get blown up <laughs> I don't roll doubles yeah is it if I roll if we roll doubles anyway hey, oh, oh, it's oh, oh, that's horrible oh, okay. it Let's might just stick out of again <laughs> but to the question, is, is he still under the influence? Uh, yes, he's under the influence. Okay, then it's all not happening, even seeing people getting blown yeah, yeah, off. Yeah, sounds good. So he is. Bad trip, man. He's still just kind of. <laughs> he's focusing on Drago. <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep Drago yeah. safe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I love it. I, 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 in fact, adore that. Okay, as um, he looks over. Yes. It comes away. Yeah. Actually, yes. Yes. Comes over towards you. No idea what it's saying. As it steps before you. Where is your seer? I have no idea, Master. He was with you last time I saw him. Yeah. I thought he was dead. Comes up. Are you? Oh, that's yeah. yeah. Has he just not noticed Magritte or the guide, or he hasn't asked about them? Hasn't asked about them. Okay. <coughs> well, that's interesting. Mm. <coughs> Magritte's dead, so. <coughs> mm. And comes over to where you are again, kicks at you. Mm. <laughs> Smells at the bodies. <laughs> Goes by where you are. Try to concern that you're as you feel, run away. As you well, feel, he really know. Yeah, 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 but she might have just, she might just like over. Yeah, exactly. So you're, he, yeah. He's just sitting there waiting. He's just lying there waiting. Um, just, um, and then you feel a kick in your side. How do you respond? Probably not much because we're in armor. Not fair enough. So, kick in the side as a. 
um, and then goes past. <laughs> Like he doesn't know what's happening. Like yeah, he's just like, I'm like, not going to move because if I stand up, I'm like, and then bashes on the back of your breast, well, the back plate, yes. um, with its oh, staff, um, as if to say, I'm disappointed. I'm sorry, Master. Where? Above ground. Gone, gone. Yes. Why, it's caged! Gone, gone! Find White Bird! Mm, I haven't seen him, Master. Kill, kill! Yes, stop! Kill! Yes, I'll find him and kill him. Thank well please, yes. Yes. Of course. Kill Grasslick, yes? Anything for you, sir. Not Grey Seer! No! Mm. Traitor! Oh, that's mm. <clears throat> Behind. Um, the big thing goes forward. Ah! Ah! Turns round and small prickles of green lightning cast out from the edge of the staff and hit it in his face as it goes. Ah! It says, back, back, back! And then it says in Queekish, something that translates into Reichspiel is something like fucking clan molder. Fucking traitorous, fucking backstabbing, <laughs> fucking fucking ah! <laughs> Get behind that. Something Elegant. like that. Yeah. Um, which to everyone else sounds more like ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then turns around, <laughs> then comes up and then stands on your back, <coughs> bashes on you a couple of times. Bad, bad. I'm sorry. And then Mr. hops off. <clears throat> Kill, yes. Do you, in your heart of hearts, think that you will kill that Gracier, who was Gracier dad, if you meet him? Yes. Good. He was an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to have... No. I won't need anything. I'm just going to roll to see how good he is at reading you. Yeah. Here comes a double. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He might read you wrong. Scathing yeah. school guy was much nicer than Grace your dad. Exactly. <laughs> it was just a snippet we made. <laughs> I'm jotting it down. Um, sadly, not a double. <clears throat> <laughs> As um, he comes up. And then it hops off your back mm -hmm. and skitters over to where the elf is. And then whacks <laughs> down hard on Margarita's back. Mm -hmm. oh. He didn't give me a chance to introduce her. It's not. Uh... <clears throat> well, he pointed and said, Do. As um, mm -hmm. hits, she is going to attempt to test to say nothing Play and dead. passes that mm -hmm. um, and walks down the ground. I smell you, Grassic. I smell you. <laughs> It steps over, hops over where you are, bounces over where your corpses are, goes over to where Elric is, bashes down its staff a couple of times, turns round, white bird. Mask. Do yourself a charm test. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He doesn't find me the least bit attractive, does he? <laughs> Strangely, what? She's no. got really nice white hair. Um, yeah, he does. She does, uh, pardon me. No, Have you got etiquette scaven? Uh, yes. No, I've got lower under empire. Mm. Yeah, um, and secret science game. No, I've uh, two fails. Do you have any fortune points? No. You take D one hundred damage. Oh. <gasps> Twelve. Oh, <laughs> oh guys. <laughs> 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 um. 
Uh, it's less that. Less that. Less <laughs> that. <laughs> the old Faraday cage. Yeah. <laughs> the old Faraday cage. <laughs> <laughs> just hurts harmlessly, right? Hurts harmlessly. He doesn't really want to kill me because he has useful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it look worse than it actually is. <laughs> and then flashes the staff over towards Bone River, who takes 51 wounds. Um, crashes across it barely as it goes, ha, ha, barely notices. It. As um, it ripper. shouts in Queekish, down, down, um, as lashes it again, causing another 53 wounds, um, and it then goes down. <laughs> in Queekish, <laughs> ah, ah, grabs on, ah, bashes it twice, then turns round. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Overhead. Um, <coughs> Stormbird. <laughs> <Down the side. laughs> One of them very much goes for caution over looking cool mm. and just scarpers towards the edge. <laughs> um, as it goes by, poof, poof, poof. The storm vermin look back. One of them in Queekish says, don't kill them today. And the other one who squirt off looks over with a look that could be best described from your perspective as, oh, I'm going to kill her, all right. And you don't know why. Mm -hmm. um, as it looks over and goes, <clears throat> and then they all fold in. And as it passes, they come in behind as the green light goes down the tunnel. Mm -hmm. He's probably purple, Paul. As Marguerite Look, lifts up her head, puts it back down again. <laughs> lifts up her head, puts it back down again. The guide goes, "Hey, they beastmen are scary." <laughs> <laughs> he says, "I've never seen one like that before." Hope you never do again. I clamber to my feet. Which is difficult. I live down here. I ain't seen one like that before. They don't come out very often. They're very powerful. He's also in the service of the Horde Rat, though. What are you talking about? Interesting. Yes. What are you talking about? Do you have a charm test? <clears throat> Um, four successes. Nice. Uh, in fact, uh, yeah, almost bang on. Nice. <clears throat> plus attractive. Does it like plus, plus two attractive. If, nice. If always you handy. Cute. Yes. Two attractive. Um, we, 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 are we going? Yes, definitely. Yes. Leave the corpses then. No. What corpses? They're dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke <laughs> rising from their head. Oh. Yumi um, has uh, an actual almost starburst scar on the top of her head, veins across the top of her forehead like so. Mm -hmm. um, he um, has lost almost all of the clothing on one arm and it's just a massive blackened lightning scar. Obviously, like I can't hear, so it's only when I've looked up that I've seen, like I'm still deafened, I assume, or at least- um, You're now at the wee. Yeah, <laughs> so obviously now seeing that he, because I haven't looked the whole time, yeah, yeah. like sheer panic, mm. Gerhar might be dead. That gobby is dead. <laughs> Running over. But she's not getting up. She's like scuttling. <laughs> Elric is he's next to you, may right? So, mm -hmm. so he'll reach out and kind of feel for a you pulse. Can, you can. Oh, you've you got definitely. a different sense. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and you feel the gyron uh, moving through her body. She's yeah. alive. Oh, that's a good. Point. Okay, you don't have that. No, but um, I can. You don't channel gyrons, so I can sense their no, in the dark. No. Oh, that, yeah, you mm -hmm. can just see, but then. Yeah, but then, it stays for a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he's got a pulse. I mean, she might detect the inherent untrustworthiness of this guy. <laughs> the wrong That's left. <laughs> He's still shady. He can't be dead. Smelling salts. Where's the smell? Salts? Where's the smell salts? I'm not sure what I want. They're all over her face. <laughs> Just blow your sinuses out. Okay. Uh, do yourself um, an endurance test. This rank smell oh. coming from okay. his body is almost too much. Hem. 
Oh, and um, all the vomit. Well, he's breathing, so and, we, and someone the, else can deal with and it And the now. burnt vomit. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> someone else can deal with it now. Charred so, vomit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's been on the grill. And I passed, but... Um, the important yeah. question, though, is it is it still wiggling? <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's, it's a good important question. I, I'm, I'm going to roll a dice, actually. Mm. Yeah. Um, and, I, and if I roll an 88, it has been excited by this exposure. But if I haven't, it's dead. <sighs> okay, great. Yeah, yeah. love it. I mean, that's it. It's only a 1 in 100 chance. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, it's 99! That feels like it should be something! No, it doesn't. It, it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> but nothing you need to worry about. You know that Einstein quote, <laughs> never play dice with God? Yeah. <laughs> That's like the fundamental problem of role-playing. Yeah. Right? <laughs> we're, so we're playing dice with God. Like, yeah. it's all the time. <laughs> we'll do that all the, the other week. <laughs> what were we thinking? Um, yeah, as soon as, as soon as the smell hits her, she's going to back off because she doesn't like that sort of thing. And, he's, and he's got a pulse, so mm. some um, other person she could deal is with it. Uh, alive. Yeah. Um, and you uh, can do an endurance yeah. test now. We're on the other side. Are they okay? Two successes. Sweet. You're 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 coming down from your high. Nice. Um it's uh um it's, it's slightly disappointing that she still looks dead. Was that real? Yes. Shh. Maybe let's oh. not talk loud. Let's just leave. God's still breathing, I think. Is you may alright? She's <laughs> she's alive, but We'll pick her up and carry her. So in answer to your question, tonight, we are taking these living people with us. Leadership test. Mm. I was already carrying Drago. I don't know if I can carry <laughs> another yeah. thing. Oh, no. No. Fail miserably. It's not a, it's not a fun ball. Though. He runs. Somebody. In the same direction as the Novitiate. Can I trip <laughs> right um, Do you I mean, yourself... Um, <clears throat> He's got to run it. to the exit. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, but he lives here, so. Do yourself a um, melee brawling test. Nice. No. Okay, I pass. So I, 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 I dodge. Not because um, I did my dodge test, and he just <laughs> runs off. He just what the fuck? Somebody he just stop scuffers him. off down <laughs> around the corner. Can I try and trip him with my pole? Yes. Arm? Can I use Draco? Yo, yes! <laughs> and use his special action. Yes! A distract action. <laughs> yes! Okay. Uh, I think the fine Drago was prostrate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he's going to leap into action. <laughs> Doesn't mean where Elric has checked on you, mate. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. yeah, love it. Um, do I, don't, I don't know how it works. works. Do, do what test? Do, do you want 100 test? Do you want 100 test? Uh, 26. I'm um, 26. Um, Oh, I got two successes too. I'm slightly disappointed because that would be hilarious. Can I spend a fortune um, point to boost this by one? Yes, you can. Okay. <laughs> I'll do that, Love it. Um, <laughs> as they hold, and he uh, turns around, looks, and it just goes. Um, and he does this. What? Oh, and then trips as his leg seizes oh, no. um, and goes down. Again, I'm not likely to crit myself. But, but if oh, I roll a double, if I roll a double, I'm doing it because that's fun. I did do it. It's a 44. That's oh, actually so unlikely. Sorry. It's not a high crit. I tried though. to help. I tried to help. It's I'm not sorry. a high crit. Um, he goes down, crashes into his elbow. Hits his fun bone. Oh. Um, it's not funny to him. No. Um, as the oh, joke goes right oh, up his arm, um, causing him to twist round and bash his head hard against the side of the rock, causing him to have, much like the pair of you, ringing in his ears, um, followed by an enormous amount of blood seeping down. But that's more of a, ah, as he is a little bit too loud. Again, there's a chance that will have a downside. Oh, it's going to have to be a critical. <laughs> it's going to be okay, yeah, I'm we sure. Should push bloody thankful and Zero we one, no one is paying man. attention out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. to collapse. <laughs> ah, ah. Magritte seemed to have a good holding number for us. Was it Magritte? Magritte says, is it safe? Yes. Gets up. Are you all right? I didn't like that at all. She says as she comes forward and she says, you, pokes him on the head, finger. She's like, ah, ah, ah. Silence. Just doing a leadership test. <laughs> Eight successes. <laughs> um, as he goes, Shut uh, uh, well, you know, it's her job. Yeah. She's been doing this for a long time. Um, as um, he goes, oh, 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 sorry. As uh, she'll now do a channeling test. Succeeds, making her eyes glow purple. As he goes, oh, don't kill me. 
says, your choice, silence. Do what she says. Turns right. There you go. Thank you, Magritte. Mm. Right. <clears throat> she looks over at Leopold. He's bleeding from his ears. Mm. He does not look in a good state. They look dead. They're not. I'm not sure how we should best proceed here. Um, stand your hold up. You can't hear for still. Oh, I'm still. Mm-hmm. You're still yeah, yeah. You can just cast yeah, so the edge of words. Well, yes, I can. Quietly. I can help Lupal to his feet. I don't wish to stay here. No. Nor do I want to be. <sighs> Getting above ground is is very important right now. We really don't want to run into any more. Eldrick, how do you feel? <clears throat> I'm okay. I can I can carry. Could he carry both? Mm, both is probably too much. Um, well, I can but you could one. definitely carry one with. Um, yeah. Could he put you may in his pocket? <laughs> <laughs> Just like you may, like as a backpack. I <laughs> think Gerhardt. Like, well, I mean, like a bride. I, 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 I can carry stuff. I mean, apart from the ankle footprint in my uh, armor, I'm okay. You could probably carry you. Yeah. He carried Gerhardt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bring my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do about his initiative? I don't want to leave her behind. I I can't hear. Well, she, she can carry. She's pretty sturdy. Yep. She can probably carry you. She just puts she her is. hand up in front of you. Mm-hmm. Birdie, will you be able to find him? How good are your eyes? On the ground? Yes. Terrible. They made sure of it. I don't want to leave her. No. But she did go the way that the guide was trying to go, so... Oh. She went back the way we came. I thought you said the guide ran the exact same... Yeah, yeah, he, yeah was, he was running came. away. Oh, yeah. okay. About okay, that sorry. Way. I mean... Um, yeah. Otherwise, could you... Could you... She can't hear properly. Oh. And she doesn't want to mm-hmm. shout so that <clears> she can be heard. Okay. Can we try and... With a bit of mine? <laughs> you mind whatever you wish to mind. So, Go for your mind. Uh-huh. I mean, I'll look. She maybe didn't go far. That's for, the for the podcast <laughs> listeners. Yeah, for the podcast Very listeners. Very terrible mind. Yeah, no, no. Of, it was hilarious. Uh-huh. Short, and a little walk. Yeah. The short test, version please. of Liverpool, who ran off. 36. She's got an you make your four way four around. successes. Yeah. And you can see the clouds of spores. <clears throat> Oh no. Oh, she's awful. Oh, I, I don't need to mind, but I don't want to be too loud. Mm. <laughs> you can mind. Better. I'm immune. I can go. <laughs> In theory, there might be like a, yeah. he's already been affected by yeah. it. Yeah. Theory? I, I love your theory. Yeah, theories um, are always. Yeah, right. I mean, you have also remembered you've got a spell you can use that will make you yes. immune, right? So you can Dan actually do that this time. That. <laughs> so maybe Elric uh, could now remember that. <laughs> uh, you may. Your eyes flicker open. Um, the incredible pain. Oh, the incredible pain. It's so sore. Ears aren't ringing, no? <laughs> you know? Um, as... You can attempt to suppress a groan if you wish to do so, or alternatively, you can just let that groan groan free because you feel you deserve it. Because that's sore. Well, we can always try. Oh, endurance <laughs> test, go for it. For the choice of groan. Uh, one success. Oh. Uh, that's, that's a bit of a groan. Oh. This spell doesn't work. Oh, no. It's, it literally says you are not protected from poisonous gases or magical effects. <laughs> It's not gas. It's not gas. This is not a gas. It's bits in the air, so it does take out more. Yeah, it did. Oh, so it, it does do say it that. Yeah, yeah. So yes. Yeah. So yes, it does work on this one. Oops. Um, so yeah, you can give, give that spell. It's a pretty low casting number. It's, it's, it's a petty. Like, so yeah, petty's like one or something. One which yeah. he always has. But you can't do it on someone else, can you? No. It's just self. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. As um, all the little uh, moats burn out as they get close to him. So yes, you can move into that area if you wish yeah. to do so, and all the tiny little little sprites, little tiny little spikes, zip around you, Watch out the burning up all of the spores that are in the air as he moves in, and it just turns into this cloud of red at the periphery as he pushes in. And yeah, there's a 
and there's a wow, it's actually a pretty good smell of slightly cooking mushrooms. Mm. Um, <laughs> as you push in, if, if it was only if only it was buttered, it'd be great. <laughs> um, <laughs> as, um, the garlic in there, yeah, oh, like, that'd be great. Well. Okay, as you push your way in, you hear her after about only well, about fifteen paces. Um, <laughs> you Put your crackles away. Um, <laughs> as uh, you make your way in, and yeah, you can hear her. Um, she is sniveling and crying. Um, make your way up to her. She's there. Her eyes are wide. Her pupils are almost as wide as her eyes. They're like wide, man. As she looks at you and she says, I can't, father and mother. And how can you both be the same? And who are you? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay, I'm, I'm here to help. And he'll attempt to pick her up. <clears throat> she doesn't resist because she is quite literally out of it. Um, as you pick her up, quite light, and take her back through to the other room. There is a chance that something that is out there may detect you. It's low. <laughs> but, but, but this is one of those evenings where the rolls have gone very odd. So let's see if this one goes. It's only on an 88 or a 99. I am going to let fate itself decide. <laughs> wow, it's an 11. That feels like it should be something. Feels like it should be a benefit. And yeah. it is. I get a fate point. Not a benefit. <laughs> <laughs> Not a benefit. But that's going to happen. Love it. Ooh. As you come back out of the spores, um, she's twitching uh, slightly from one hand. One leg is twitching as well. And she's looking around at anything that's got something close to a face. Um, which you will immediately identify as either her mother or her father or both. Mother. Uh, Marguerite, father. anything you can do? Mother. No. <laughs> says, at least she's alive. Mm. So we've got. We've got three. You may, can you walk? Can you hear me? You can walk. I, I'm in pain. The father still seems to be down. Can you hear me? You're hearing like edges of things. Yeah, but we already got him up. I think. What do you um, want to say to him, Marguerite? Yeah, because we can. We can, we can, can, back can he walk? Are you on your feet? You can read. Yes, well, he she's, can. She's, she's, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And battle tongue would be like move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just like do a little dance. Looking like, around like that, that, like that you're confused uh, Vincent <laughs> Mega from Pulp Fiction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just looking <laughs> around. <laughs> it's okay. We've got you. <laughs> What about Gahat? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to touch him. <laughs> In general. Uh, Ellen anyway, doesn't think she's strong enough to carry him. Oh, well, one of us can if, carry can him. Can someone... <laughs> the rope, drag Can he... <laughs> can Elric... Because, not to be sexist, but he's imagining the lady he's carrying is lighter yeah. than Gerhardt. Yeah, um, yeah. Just pure size alone. Yeah, yeah. so Elric, oh, oh, oh. knowing that he's stronger than It's worth knowing, because she's sturdy, She's carrying well, quite a lot of provisions. Quite, yeah, she's <laughs> she's, she's also got like a pack pack with like extra water. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, her yeah. Kit and all that stuff. <laughs> so actually, it's probably worthwhile. Eric yeah. is carrying her. No, because yeah. we've probably gone through most of that. We only had like. Well, had she, she had extra. Yeah, but yeah. He, but it's a good point. We have gone through more. Won't be much left. Yeah. Look, will someone pick her up, Birdie? Is you may okay? She appears to be. Okay. Okay, so I will. I will pick up the. I uh, pick like Gerhardt up like a sack of spuds. <laughs> throw, throw him over your shoulder. <laughs> that wakes you up. <laughs> um, oh, your arm feels so sore. Oh, the front. Um, and, 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 oh, oh, you feel a bit drunk, a bit out of it, a bit sore, mm. and a bit drunk and a bit out of it, and also a bit sore. Um, you saw something. You saw something, but like a dream, can't quite grasp the exact details of what it was that you saw, but you saw something. And just as the flash hit you, you saw it and then it flashed out again and it went. It's almost like it was there. Can I do a check to see if I can kind of recall it? That's as much as you've got. I've done my role on my side. Is that yes or no? I'm um, that's no. Okay, very right, fine. <laughs> oh, right. he, he's up. Uh, 
<laughs> you okay? <sighs> As you may. Right, she's she's all right. Uh, is everyone else okay? <sighs> yeah. Right. Welcome to my family. What the fuck? Look, let's just get out. Oh yeah. Okay. Can you take this brazier off there? It's really digging in. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I can switch you to carry you. That would be good. Brian like a lady. <laughs> Fine. I can be a hero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought of cutting down on the rash. <laughs> so I, uh, I turn to the guide and say... He's just like this. It's like, show us the way out. Okay. Make him carry my stuff. It'll be done. I'll protect you. The guide, Ulrich, is happy to lead you all the way out. After all, he is pretty much intimidated by the purple eyed mm -hmm. wizard. On the way up, though, I want to have the same conversation with him about how he knows his way around the tunnels. What conversation? Because of what he said, right? Yeah. 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 You know, how do, how, you know, just casual chit chat. How do you know your way around the tunnels? Because previously he said that his entire family lived here. Lived here. Yeah. And in the service of the horned rat. No, no. he never no, said he that. No, he never said that. He did. 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 And he that's when the explosion be. happened. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, he no. didn't say that. No, he, he didn't say he was a servant, but he said no. he was going to meet. No, he said, he said that he had been told that mm -hmm. he would meet the Magister yeah. Magistrate. When something to do with the horned rat, but he, but yeah. like but someone had yeah, told yeah. him no, that, yeah, exactly. not like he yeah. knew anything yeah. about yeah. it. Right. Well, see, I heard it as he like. Right. No. I heard yeah. it as he was serving. Exactly. No. That's fine yeah. then. Yeah. I won't need to do that. No, well, you did, but he yeah. just looks confused again. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. That's fine. I was just. What about? I just got told when when he came. That's when I'd meet him. Oh, the well. same day. Oh well. Right there. <laughs> so far, so good. Ask him what he does for fun. Probably not a bad idea. This is not a bad person. So, making our way through the undercity of Bidenheim is, at least taking this route, in the greatest scheme of things, safe. Probably. Mm. <laughs> Much like Father Leopold mm -hmm. had guided people through a route that is in the greater scheme of things, safe, mm -hmm. he knows a way through that in the greater scheme of things is safe. <laughs> so assuming that I don't roll something bad, or indeed you, because I think it's much more fun if you do it, but it is only two of you who will be rolling. And that number, if it is the same on both of you, means that something terrible may unfold. So if you roll, for example, both of you ones, or both of you twos, or both of you threes, or something similar. So who would like to Can do the roll? Can we amend it with fortune? Yes. Yeah, I people with fortune. People fortune. People fortune. fortune. <laughs> That's game not the fortune system. I've got, I've got one. points. I've got, I've got, got plenty. OK, you may. I rolled a one. I rolled a four. Nice. <sighs> we stop off halfway during the day. We eat and we piddle. <laughs> well, we that was the language that. he used. Mm -hmm. yeah. we've, we've actually, it's going to hold into plan. And now. having eaten and piddled, <laughs> we then carry on. Bernie can't help but wonder what the heck is going on with the Skaven family. Mm -hmm. Skaven dad has possibly escaped. Skaven dad is doing something. <sighs> so you don't know mm -hmm. what's going down there. I have so many questions, but I can't do anything about it with these guys tagging along, so... So that's a bit of a problem. Yeah. As eventually, you arrive in the lower catacombs, mm -hmm. just beneath the main city itself, leading towards where he is inevitably going to lead you out. Mm -hmm. Which then also leads up to the question of, what do you intend to do with this poor, unfortunate idiot from beneath? The streets. I mean, assuming I'm still out of it. So now I'm... you're back in it. Okay, mm. okay. it what? has been more than um, about six, seven hours. 
Um, well, I mean, what, what I have to say, I have to say, I'd like to say battle tongue if I can, <laughs> which is imprisoned. Oh, yeah. sure. In prison? No, no, in prison. That was my thought. In death? No. <laughs> Why are you doing that with your hands? <laughs> in prison. Like, like manacles. In prison. 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 Like in prison. Like manacles. In prison. In prison. Yeah. You want to do what? What? <laughs> Surely we need his consent. <laughs> in prison his throat until it stops. <laughs> <laughs> Two spikes. <laughs> You're not very good at this battle, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. Um, like if we if we get a chance to talk in hush tones where he can't hear us, like it's like we, like we'll, we'll only whisper this so that the guy doesn't hear. But if he knows his way around here, and I have a responsibility eventually within my order to find our way to the flame, he would be an incredibly oh. useful resource. Oh. Give him to the graph. Yeah. Plus. Yeah. I'll but make sure he doesn't kill him. Like, make sure I can make the petition to what he's Boris used for. See the use, surely. Marguerite says he will probably be killed if he is like out of this occultist. Mm -hmm. So we try not to do that then. And how are you going to arrest him? I hmm? think the better question is Is he? Is he? Mm. Just Let's find point. out. Well, she says, she turns well, around and says, okay. Are you ready to make your praises to Char? As um, he winds his eyes and says, I'll do whatever you want me to do. Hmm. That's a better answer than I could have expected. What about the changer of the ways? Or the architect? We say as, stuff like that, Margaret. <laughs> as his eyes widen and says, Whatever you need. One second, if I may interrupt here. Um, Sorry, my love, if I could borrow your ear for just one moment. I think he would just say yes to anything that he, he Well, said. that is what I was determining. No, I know, but I think even if he didn't know what he was agreeing to, he'd say yes to exactly what I was determining. Yes, that's what she's doing. Well, no, just blame it some more to her. Artist. And he's, and he's yes. terrified of you. And that he is what I'm determining. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a trap within a trap. Roll with it. Oh, I understand. Hundred <laughs> percent, understand completely. Um, as um, she says, uh, his conclusion is exactly mine. Mm -hmm. He might be cunning, but I doubt it. Um, do you want me there? Oh yeah. Roll your bones. Mm -hmm. Attempted augury on him. Uh, yeah, it's pass. Neutral. Neutral. Yeah. yeah. And he is literally that. Yeah. He will be whatever. He was a, whatever. I have no strong feelings towards him. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a tool. I don't think he's a tool. In so many ways. Yeah. Um, and it's something that I think that uh, Leopold is slowly but surely coming to terms with, the fact that the vast majority of the cultists mm -hmm. aren't. Mm -hmm. They just aren't. No. There's very few actual cultists. Mm -hmm. There's very few who are fully aware of what they are and what they're doing. And many of them might believe they're part of a cult, but not what it's all. Yeah. a cult. Just like in Bergen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, it appears to be the case up here also. Mm -hmm. Very possibly the ones that he was down with, maybe only three, four, five, mm -hmm. or six of them were proper like, cultists. Like the Magus was definitely a wrong yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, by the way, I mean, did we see what happened? Well, I was going to say, don't suppose Elric saw her body in the no. small room. No. <laughs> no. Oh, well. Well, then, we unfortunately, can't. we can't keep this man. No, we no, can't. No, we can. For what? What? To use him. But no, we, we still no. nothing wrong. His point is we can't keep him, but yeah. we can we can be used by the graph or mm -hmm. by my order. He'd probably I think, make a very good I sewer jack. Also, I think mm. you'll find that the graph can use anyone in Middenheim mm -hmm. any way he wants, mm -hmm. because that's how it works in Middenheim. Yes, mm -hmm. his fate is very much in your hands. He says, whatever you say he is, they will boom. Mm -hmm. mm. He's a he's somebody who's incredibly useful because he knows a lot of the ways down here. And if we want to try and make Dania safer. Mm -hmm. Someone like him would be incredibly useful. Given what I've encountered with folk of his ilk, he likely has some very unsavory habits. Mm -hmm. Which means that whomever he is handed over to, I'd best be prepared for mm -hmm. unsavory habits. Yeah. And so I, I can speak to the fact that he's not evil or tainted. He's just been raised in very unfortunate circumstances and used and 
Abused. Given your purpose, you might convert him to your cult. Mm. Well, exactly. Mm. I'd like, but I'd really specifically like to give him to the High Commissioner, but I don't know if he's back in town yet. Could you entrust Emmanuel to him, or is she coming with you? <laughs> well, I mean, longer term, maybe. Her, mm. uh, her real purpose, but I don't think. I'm assuming she's still a bit spacey. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, no, no, by this point, um, yeah. she's back in her own place and that, viewing a certain amount of shame yeah. as well. But why that, didn't that's, you... that's, that's, I would say it's too weighty a responsibility for innovation. You're a high father. Why don't you just tell them to keep him in splendid yeah. isolation until the high capitula comes mm-hmm. back? Which yeah. is something mm-hmm. you can very that's, much do and then leave it open. Assuming, the kind of thing assuming we can does. convince the graftsmen to help us get into the Temple of Sigma, I will absolutely do that. Blown over by now. Is there another option in, in Renaud? No. No. Because my order has a sacred duty to protect the flame, and this man will be useful in doing that. Because they failed, in, <laughs> they failed doing the mapping. Thing. I have so orders. Break him free, guard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking because he's sort of unscrupulous and maybe a bit questionable. Like it's more of an he's um, not an unscrupulous. He's towards... afraid, and he'll agree to anything to survive. It's a survival mechanism. Can I we remember... just get to the graph because I'm... we have heard. Some chilling news that we need to see what he is going to do about. Well, that's a good point. Assuming the graph is in control, he'll, well, he'll still be here. Mm. Yeah, but will he still be in control? So let's find out. Yes. Because as we discovered from Marguerite, when she was found deep beneath the city, mm. her grandfather had been part of a raid into Midnight, where they had stolen some rather important artefacts and that she had perceived most of it because she was directly linked to him and that he had been surviving because he was effectively leeching off her life force and she herself was keeping herself alive by any means possible. So what does that translate to up in Midnight itself? Fortunately, we're no longer those lowly scum PCs who aren't allowed into places of import. <laughs> Indeed, we have a quite literal Knight's Panther who are part of the bodyguard of the palace. We have a high father of Sigmar <laughs> from this very city. But, arguably more importantly, we are all heroes of midnight. Each and every last one of us are heroes of midnight. And I'm going to presume that none of you have lost those particular awards already by making you roll a d100 each. Um, and if you roll 99 or 00, zero it has, in all of the kerfuffle, no, been no either chance. damaged no or chance. gone missing. No. 91. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit dented. <laughs> Woo! Scream bum. You got 91 one. as well. Zero, oh, zero, zero, zero one. one. Oh. <laughs> I got 30. Yeah, nice, nice. 34. 81. Mine's a little bit melted. Just a, just, just a teeny bit from, on the yeah. edge of the fur. <laughs> Should have given you a fireproof one. Yeah. Well, it was the, it was the lava. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the lava. The lava, <laughs> the lava <laughs> seems so long ago now. <laughs> you break free from the under tunnels into the sunlight above, having been down there for what feels like forever, while well, simultaneously it wasn't that long. And you are in the wind deep down into the main part of the city itself. The, let's say, disposal of the nice chap over at the Temple of Sigmar is easy. One of the great benefits of being a High Father is that all of the warrior priests who are part of your order, of which at least five are generally ensconced there at any one time because the flame may need them, do what you say now. The power! <laughs> <laughs> and that is great. I mean, it's all like we listen to you. I got, I got, I got a little carried away now. <laughs> What's you even? five warrior priests. <laughs> I'm going to take over the empire! <laughs> well, I don't need these losers anymore! <laughs> Charge! <laughs> to the north! What is he doing? Better is there is no other high father here. Because the High Fathers are independent working entities who go off and do their own thing. Meaning that it's only fathers who are here, or people who are injured and thus stay, or alternatively who are training the novitiates. But they're all just fathers. It is a deeply male order. There is very few novitiates who are women. But there is one of you. The High Priest of the 
Order the Torch will be in the temple still as well. Yes, he will, but do you really trust a different order? <laughs> not not to leave him with the, him, but he was there when he was. the High Capitular gave Leopold the specific order, so I'm assuming high, he's told him something. I'm not going to tell him anything. I'm assuming he might even know. But what I will do is tell him that there was somebody that used to be kept for the High Capitular, and he's in the charge of my order. I think saying quite a lot about the Temple of Sigmar, it has a significant number of cells. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I told you. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll make sure if they still but, have yeah, no. any of the, the for prisoners, if they still have any of the uh, the witch hunters <laughs> in the cells, let's make sure that this guy is very far away from them. Sounds good. But ideally, um, far away fact, from any other prisoners um, down there. In fact, if you work within your own order, um, you can use your own order cells. Excellent. Um, which will be quite separate from the order of the torch, who are currently holding the, those that they have deemed mm-hmm. to be heretics, waiting for the hype to come back with orders as to how to deal with it. Um, so that is easy. Let's not dwell upon that Excellent. because it's relatively simple to resolve. The second matter as to how simple is this to resolve is getting into the palace couldn't be easier at all. So night, so night. It's, it's reached a point now where we're actually somebody's. Yeah. <clears throat> Swaggering on. Now, some of us may have always thought we were somebody. Right, Dave. But we are. No, I'm just thinking back to that fucking knob who didn't let me through the gate even when I showed him a badge. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't worry. Tristan. Me. It's fine. He's probably dead now, to be fair. We got blown out. Tristan's body has still not been recovered, and he was a friend of mine. So, oh, well, it might be a different Tristram. <laughs> no, it's more that Ed's annoyed at it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Garhart was pretty annoyed. <laughs> oh, go check Garhart's side screen for that one, which um, will be going up during the course of this very week. We'll see you soon. Yeah, yeah, it's a fun one. Um, <clears throat> ice, ice, baby. Mm. So that um, is no longer an issue as you are escorted by To the Night's Panther into the core palace to await potential summons from the royal court. You're not in the best state. Your ears are still gently going Alamenowide's ears no longer are because they'll bullshit. Um, (laughs) Your uh, arm is numb, feels numb and the scarring of it is like nothing you've ever seen before. You are surprised that your hand works and you have been gently doing exercises with your fingers to ensure it's all working, and it is, there's a part of you that thinks that it shouldn't be. That you've survived something you shouldn't have. And his brain is getting in the way of just what most people would say, which is, well, I'm fine. Mm. He's not. He's literally going, no, what should have occurred to me is I should have lost this arm. I haven't. Why? Mm. And given that he almost saw something, there's a part of him that thinks it must be his typical conclusion for anything like this. Magic! I'm magic! And, 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 and yeah, he's concluding that right now. Yep, he's magic. He's definitely magic. There's no way he should have survived that. <clears throat> Yume comes to exactly the same conclusion, but for her own reasons. <laughs> She's, let's change the word from magic to divine, because that's a nice line. Um, she's divine. Um, she thinks she should probably be dead. Mango's going to be worse than Gerhardt's. <laughs> you pair together. <clears throat> you don't want to see a mirror, though. You're afraid of the hair that you might have lost. You're afraid of how the scar might look like. You're afraid that it might stick. There's a small part of you who thinks you'd be the biggest badass known to <laughs> anyone with a lightning it could scar be really cool. down <laughs> over your face. But That's equally, there's a part of you that thinks it will just turn out terribly and you're actually afraid. Anyone, when it comes to their core appearance, how they appear to others, can't help but feel nervous about it. When you see his arm, it's ugly. It's you got it's hit good. in the face. It's good. Also, the scar he's got on his arm is ugly. <laughs> 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 wow. well, low, low. <laughs> salt in the wound. Oh, salt oh, in the wound. Not gone through enough this evening. It's okay. <laughs> we got ugly sure. arm. <laughs> Quite sure. Do you need some more living vomit? Yeah. <clears throat> Meanwhile, yourself, hey, it could be worse. Mm-hmm. Yep, you came out of that one pretty well. You're really high, and apparently the things that you dreamed were real. It actually happened, yeah. Yeah, and that's enough to give him pause. He survived a thing that they almost didn't. Yeah, 
No, do people take me seriously when I say they're dangerous and we shouldn't go anywhere near them? I we always do. Always <laughs> did. <laughs> <laughs> no. yes, it's true, not everybody. <laughs> and you're going upstairs. We'll offer to cover up um, Gerhard's scar with the tattoo when we've got time. Love it. Mm -hmm. You could um, sort of not cover it up, but enhance Accentuate it. Accentuate it. Yeah, Kermit good. the Frog, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> servants are <laughs> <laughs> servants are brought down to have you cleaned up. Um, and then more servants are brought down to have everybody cleaned up because you're all a little bit worse for wear having been camping out. Where's my squire to help me with my armour? Um, not here. <gasps> Girls! I've got light. <laughs> About half an hour later, you get summoned through. <clears throat> oh. To the throne room. Except you don't get taken there. That's what you were told you were going to be taken to. Instead, you get taken down a long, very well appointed corridor, then down a small side corridor, then up a small set of steps. I recognise the steps, right? Yes, you do. Then taken to a small door <laughs> where a couple of Knights Panther are mm. sitting on the outside as they look over and they go, Hello, Mom. He's not in a good mood. I warned you. I can't deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've got some good news. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you, you can't agree. Okay. Is she allowed in with us? Like, no, there's no with questions. You. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. with you. Yeah. yeah, anyone you take with you is with you. Yeah. <clears throat> and then he knocks on the door, and there's a knock in return. And he's like, and you go. And opens the door wide. On the inside is a uh, Knight's Panther, has his arms folded, um, looks at you. <clears throat> Royal Highness, he says, the young fry party. And you hear, well, see the body in then. Please, come in. As um, Boris Torbringer stands up. He is a tall man, but in comparison to three of you, not as tall. Um, standing above average height with a big auburn beard. His hair is pushed right back and tied high. <clears throat> His eyes are clearly tired. He has not slept that much recently and they're bloodshot. As he turns around, he goes, Did you find the fucking traitor? No, Your Majesty. No, oh, but you fucking didn't. He was right through here, he was. Mm. Oh. Shut the fucking door! As the right panther back goes, uh, uh, yes, yes, sir. We know. This is Lady Magister Marguerite. She does a small curtsy. That your fucking fiance? Yes. Your Majesty. He looks at her. He went, it's not right. It's it's like it's no, I thought after you said it once, you referred yeah. to him as something else. We know this from. Yeah, but we, we, each, but each of you say it yeah. once, and then you say. You say it son. once, and then Sarah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I thought so. <clears throat> As um, he looks at her. <sighs> so you found her, and then you came right back thinking. <laughs> no, Your Majesty. You don't fucking talk, let you fucking talk to. Fucking hell. You're lucky you're a fucking hero. Where's your fucking grandfather? She says, I don't know, Your Majesty. She says, I would have known under different circumstances, but those circumstances have changed. But I do know what happened to him up to the point where he stole some artifacts from the corpus. All right, all of you sit down. The office that you're in is a long room with a window at the far end. 
About three quarters of the way down, there is a desk, clearly a desk that he likes to sit at because it's covered with a variety of scrolls, papers, and pens, many of which are besides toppled pieces of ink. Behind that, there's a large painting of Midtown, rising up. It's almost six foot tall's worth, and it sits right behind where he would presumably sit. There is a small sitting room in the distance between the main door over towards those tables. And the chairs look very well worn. They have been sat in, presumably by him, a lot. And judging by their general quality, you would presume he may have even slept here a few times too. Uh, <clears throat> it's certainly somewhere you could sit um, as uh, he just waves over to it with a clear sit the fuck down. As he moves over and scrapes his chair into place and sits down. Right, girl, talk. So she does in slow, simple <laughs> sentences, giving him the opportunity to butt in whenever he wants to do so, making it quite clear that her father had cast a spell upon her some time ago, so that should he ever be in danger, that her father <coughs> could effectively take her life instead. And that she had had to, in turn, cast spells to keep herself alive. And he had leached from this. He finds this all largely irrelevant. He wants to know about what happened here. And is there anything that she can offer on top of what he already knows, which is, truth be told, this is little. So she explains what she knows. She knows that he was tortured. She knows that he was the one who told his torturers of the room fan. A great blade of the warriors of the mountain. <clears throat> and that the captors were speaking in a language that she couldn't understand, for the vast majority of it. But they spoke to him in Reichsby, the beastman. And they interrogated again and again and again. And he, who had obviously been living in the court for some time, was quite capable of telling him exactly where to go, how to get in. He himself intended to secure this blade for his own purposes. And so they piggybacked on his plan. And they went up while you were going down. And they did a nighttime raid and succeeded because they had somebody on the inside, effectively, somebody who knew everything about the layout, someone who knew where everything was kept and someone who was a wizard. And she also knows that they had their own wizards controlling them. She also knows one other fact though, the one who led them. Because he was somewhat boastful and went by the name of Grassic. Which gives you a potential opportunity if you want to say anything else, entirely up to you. That's me, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> you can say nothing if you prefer, because that might be a far easier choice than I actually bringing it up. At this point. Because <laughs> he's clearly question. in a mood. Yes, he's in a mood. I've already upset him by accidentally interrupting him. Plus, he doesn't necessarily need to know. If he's going to set us on their trail, then he doesn't need to know my connection. Under promise over deliver. <laughs> Halfway through um, this whole process, just after the point where the individual, the grey seer, mm. was named, there comes a knock at the door. Fucking hell. <clears throat> Who is it? He calls. And door opens, a knight sticks his head in and says, It's, um, Vaughn, sir. Oh, fuck. Send him in. And in limps a big bearded fellow. Hello, Anis, says, Vaughn, heroes, heroes, Vaughn. Hey, Vaughn. <clears throat> he says, as um, he nods once, apparently, he says, you did right well with that miss. 
He says, I was stuck under storm for almost four day hour. <clears throat> oh, Highness, he says, we found out where they went below ground. He says, and where might that be? He says, not far from here. He says, just up north. He says, not more than about five miles. It's just, uh, it's like little, looks like a little shanty of sticks, I'm told. And it uh, goes down into tunnels. So, see, I've lost them. Fuck. He looks over at Marguerite. And you've not given me anything I don't already bloody know. I'm frightfully sorry, sir. He says, all I can do is provide you with the information that I already know. And that is that he is probably either still with them or dead. If he gets an opportunity to escape, he will. The spell that was in place, however, has been severed, so I no longer have a link to him. And there is nothing I can do about that. I apologize, sir. Fuck. Right, boy, fuck off. He just nods once at all of you. As Boris slumps down in his chair and just folds his arms. Fuck. How is how is he looking in terms of his health? Because I know he's just tired. Didn't the rune fang sort of <clears throat> keep him? No, that's the other thing. Right, with the ambulance keeping him okay. Cool. <laughs> There was a point when he when he grabbed the rune fang the first time, and it seemed to like well, yeah, it'll fill him with martial it. vigor. Yeah, but yeah. Are we at a point where we can ask him about a racket question? Yet? Also, another day. Yeah. Another yeah. session. Yeah. Where is Grassic? Oh, oh, you're saying it out loud. You just turned blue. I don't bloody know. I wonder. <laughs> I would like to enact an us. oracle uh, maneuver, please. You might not get a chance to speak because he's doing an oracle maneuver. Yeah, he yeah. might just immediately start yeah. shouting. Yeah, yeah, baby. It's a pass, though, not a crit, but a pass. Yeah. <clears throat> as um, you say it, mm -hmm. turning to him as um, he talks, oh, blah, 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 um, and you twist him for a moment, blink. That's what it feels like. Like you have. I haven't blinked. blinked in months. <laughs> uh, and that <coughs> phantom movement mm -hmm. of the eyes that aren't there anymore is clear within your body as you twist from side to side and... <sighs> Ulrich. The answer lies with Ulrich. The answer lies with Ulrich. You can see him sniveling in the cell. <laughs> um, <laughs> could be any number of them. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the specificity was handy. It was. <laughs> um, and the answer lies with him. The one that is currently sipping away in gruel. He, he is the potential answer to all of this. Interesting. You have no idea why or how, yeah. but he the signs that. are exceedingly yeah. clear. I think, I think, your Majesty, I think we have a prisoner, Ulrich. I think he's the, the key. He's the sign. I don't know how or why, but I think he can be used. Maybe. No. <clears throat> Boris Torbringer very rarely has any reason to go to the High Temple of Sigmar. <laughs> <laughs> I think just <it> everyone. <laughs> but Boris Torbringer now has a reason to go <laughs> to the High Temple of Sigmar. He doesn't go alone. He goes with the Heroes of Mindheim, of course. He goes with Margarita. He also goes with 25 Knights Panther. Mm. 26. 25 other Knights Panther. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Which is not exactly what this individual prisoner expected to have as an audience, as he is dragged up into the primary 12-sided hall of the Order of the Silver Flame. This hall is quite sizable, certainly enough to hold everybody in here and goes up to a dome itself with 
silver flames on all of the 12 separate sides of the dome. This is where you were very first novitiated. This is where you were very first made a father. Not where you were made a high father, though. No. That happened in the main temple. And was extenuating circumstances. <laughs> was perhaps less formal. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit more rushed. Yeah. The odd thing is that you are the ranking member here. My domain. This, this, oh my god. Matter. <laughs> it ranked the graph. <laughs> this, this, this is your place. In, in very narrow ecclesiastical matter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Medical matter. I am divine. I am magic. I am the high father. We're really. <laughs> yeah. Right, Look at me. Times have changed. <laughs> and this poor man is surrounded with all of that. All of those knights just looking down at him. Gerhardt. Elric, Yumi, the High Father, the towering figure that is Birdie, taller than anybody else in this entire room, and then of course Anel too, perching off at the side. Just like leaning against the wall, yeah. like himself. Of off. course, in all that, who he's most scared of is Marguerite. <laughs> and Marguerite, who indeed does just sit there with her arms folded, looking at him. He is in the center of hell, <laughs> from his perspective. Boris has a unique questioning technique. Where the bloody hell is that dogma bastard traitor? You tell me. He clearly does not know. He was expecting to meet him. Indeed, he expects to meet him today. Today, mm -hmm. he still will. Where? <clears throat> Where they were. This becomes a frustrating, prolonged questioning session for Boris, who clearly has the lead mm -hmm. and clearly isn't getting anywhere. A good 15 minutes of bellowing at the poor boy gets almost nowhere. He fidgets, he, he looks uncomfortable, doesn't know what to do, he doesn't know what to say, he just has to keep on saying, I was, I was going to see him today. Where were you going to see him? Down below, but he got taken elsewhere. Why do you think you're going to see him? He said, you know, my, my parents told me I'd meet him on the day that we saw the horned rat. Can uh, I try something I've never actually tried? Yes, of um, course. Mm -hmm. Can I try... Is it drugs? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> can I try a visions manoeuvre? Visions manoeuvre? Which is one where you get a hint of somebody's fate. Because if he's fated to meet Dagmar, <gasps> maybe I'll get to see that. I love that. Maybe... Let me try the way um, room as well. Yeah, I mean, five successes. <laughs> wow. So tell me, what does that do? What does the visions tell us? Also, do? maybe I just need to leave the room and Dagmar will turn up because, like, it can't <laughs> happen while I'm here because no one can see my future. So, <laughs> like, as long as I'm in the same room as him, presumably he can't be Dagmar. Yeah, yeah. Like, sleep. Hey, I see what comes. Oh. Uh, you receive a vision concerning the target, <laughs> but it is open to misinterpretation. Indeed. A great keep. And him falling beside it. Who? Him. Now you don't know if that's falling, falling, falling. There's lots of different types of falling. Yeah. But at some points it looks like he's falling, at other points it's possibly falling. But maybe he's just great. tripping downstairs. Some points. Yeah, <laughs> quite. A great keep. A great keep. Do I actually see the vision no, of the keep? It's just a, it's, it's the, not, the concept it's, it's, of it's a keep. Like, it's like there, and it's the concept of a keep in your mind as it brings up. It's a, it's a keep, and that is where he will fall. In love. Could be. Could be. It could I, be. I, I, I <laughs> see likely. a great keep in, soup. in his future. I see a great keep. He says, that, that's where everyone goes, right? Where? He says, well, it's where the cult is held up, isn't it? Where? Boris goes, what cult? He says, you know, the cult, the cult will ease the head off. The cult that Dagmar is part of. Yeah. He goes, uh, right, I, mm. that cult. Yeah, and where is... That keep. Do you it know says, the way? No, it, 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 everyone knows what it is. It's up at Brass Keep. He says, No mid nine? Do I know Brass Keep? I know where Brass Keep is. Do your test on the left. Can I assist? I passed, but. Brass Keep <laughs> uh, sits on the border between Middenheim, Nordland, 
Osland and Hochland mm. in the Middle Mountains. It's literally <laughs> on the border um, and has had a host of freedoms because of this. It is also rumoured to be haunted. It is also rumoured to be cursed. It has fallen more times than people can care to mention, often <coughs> to the darkest of stories. It is said to have existed before the times of Sigmar itself, during which times Sigmar apparently reclaimed it from horrors. Right. You don't know the individual story, but it would be relatively easy to find out should you visit, one presumes, the temple. Mm -hmm. It has its own library concerning these things. <coughs> As um, uh, he goes, that, 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 that is... That's just where, 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 where they do all the things. That's why I, I told her I would live there one day. Hmm. I think perhaps uh, that's where we need to go. Fucking brass keep, he says. Fucking brass keep. Thank you, Father. How many days march? He says it's right up into mountains. It's not too far. Sorry, Majesty, but when was the raid? Keep your mouth shut. Everyone get the fuck out of here. Not you lot. Everyone else. I didn't say it's not your fault, boy. Nobody knows. No one. You understand? And they were to find out. I can't even imagine what would happen if they were to find out. I mean, the loss of honour alone. May I ask a question on that? Would it, would it cause the other house? You really don't fucking understand how this fucking works, do you? That is minus one on that one. There we go. <clears throat> that was cats there. Right, you two, you three, fucking out now. The three of you, now. That wasn't in character. Uh, you did You did it, it happened. No, I didn't. I heard it. <laughs> I didn't do it in my accent. <laughs> I heard it. No, I feel, I feel that's too harsh. Actually. Okay, I won't be so harsh <laughs> this time. <laughs> I'm not that cruel. I am sometimes. Um, <clears throat> as he... Bridges his hands and goes, Right, fuck. Fuck. I'm going to be charging you, our father. Cult of Sigma. Which, given what's happening in the palace right now, is a fucking joke. But this is Sigmar's business. Fucking moon fangs. No other fucker knows about this. You understand me? You have to find it. You have to bring it back. I can't leave. If I leave, they'll all expect me to be wearing it. I can't leave the palace. I mean, I can leave the palace, he says, looking up. But I can't leave the palace. Fuck. Fuck. I can't even give you anyone because I can't trust anyone to not talk about it. They don't know. No one knows in the palace. No one knows. Not a single one of them. The blades always kept under lock and key down at Armoury. And they came up from underneath. They also took the arm of Torlokham. He says, it was worn by Manfred Ratslayer. Gods alone know why. They made their way and made a separate tunnel into mansion over by the uh, Knight's Panther. 
And I don't care why they want it. I want it because they have it. We got Torah come out of ruins. We got Tuganat Fawn out of ruin. It weren't quite as bad as we first thought. He's almost certain to be gone Grandmaster. <laughs> he has the legacy and he'll get support. And with Tuganheim still there, he's trustworthy. But this is all fucked up. Cult of Ulrich. They are moving into Palace. I'm getting myself a new guard to go along with guard I've already. I mean, do you blame them for offering and do you blame me for accepting given everything that's happened? I am not a stupid man. I do not deny allies when they stand. And hi, Father, you are an ally that stands before me. The Empire itself. I could try and throw out some prosaic language, some clever thing about how it's in trouble, but it's in trouble regardless. If I don't have my blade, I will not be going to war. We will see it return to you, sir. And if everything you believe is happening down in South is true, then they will win. Fuck. You said that you thought it might be all connected, all part of the same thing. It seems quite ridiculous to be so, but you walk in Sigma's footsteps. I can't deny that, nor do I want to. You are not my subject. But you are heroes of the city. Do you accept this charge? Why? Yes, sir. I would like to hear from everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm hmm Aye. I am your subject. <sighs> I accept your charge. <laughs> Fuck. Nice Panther probably think I'm getting murdered right now. <laughs> he says. <clears throat> May I offer a word of advice, sir? All right, if you've got anything you need to say, <laughs> get it the fuck out now before anyone else comes in. It, Fucking ill. It is entirely possible. Have you got ale in this place? Do we have ale in this place? Yeah. 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 Samurai temple, right, surely. Yeah. He says, right, opens up. Here, you fuckers, get me some ale. There's some in this place somewhere. Beat out of them if you have to. <laughs> Close <the door. laughs> Emmanuel, fetch the ale. <laughs> no beating. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're into that. <laughs> yeah. um, I, it may be that the individuals and the motivation is entirely pure, but regarding the, the Ulricans, I, I don't necessarily see it as a bad thing, but I feel I have to tell you, this is something the Ulricans have wanted for a long time. And I know that just as there were um, those who had fallen, infiltrated this temple, which the High Capitular and I rooted out, the same is true at the Temple of Ulrich, and I don't believe they have been rooted out. Well, at least we know. Yeah. It says, wolves of ears, and they have noses. Oh, the cats of ears, I suppose, but the wolves of noses. It's hard to sneak past a wolf, and I do not want to have any more of this. Sir, how long? How much of a head start do they have? About three days. And only two relics missing. Two that I'm aware of. This may be above me to ask, but is there any relics that we could use? Because we're going to a stronghold. Is there anything? I know we can't have people, but we could say there are if things missing. Anything that I give would have to be returned. And I can't guarantee you a return. We've already lost a lot. Mm -hmm. I'll have a talk. He says, 
Right, I do have something else that I need to say to you. He were emperor, Manfred, the Tallach Helm, the helm of Tallach Helms. There weren't originally a Tallach Helm, Helm. There were Emperor Manfred's rat slayers. And he was said to have eradicated the rat beastmen. So he wiped them out forever. And that Helm was a part of it. Given what has been at least hinted and suggested, and given what I know was responsible down there, I do not like the ramifications of it because it sounds like the first steps towards an invasion. Mm -hmm. Take away the artifact which they are afraid of. Mm -hmm. Now, that might be a supposition on my part, but given everything else, you have to get it back. You have to get them both back. Absolutely. Right. Door opens. Well, drinking then. He says, let's have one ale each. Go to palace. Sleep. Sleep well. And head off in the morning. If it's to brass, keep you going, then so be it. I'll give you a coach. Get you up there fast. You might even get ahead of them. Took and I chased them down to where they went under. You might get ahead of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do not, though. It's a difficult place, Brass Keep. Everyone claims it. And thus, you tend to find that there is always a few troops up there, bickering, arguing, ambassadors shouting at each other and the like. It's, it's, it's a difficult place. Who is currently in command there? No one. No one at all. No one commands Brass Keep. So it straddles, this is just out of character, it straddles like all, all of the it's on the it, point. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Of all of them. So the armies are there. Ah, oh, armies. There's generally not more than about 50 folk from any particular province. But the armies are there, bickering on outside. But no one goes in. The place is cursed. Which is why it's great to be called the stronghold, because nobody would go in. You'd think that somebody would have probably come back and told me if that were case. Yeah. But if yes. this is all we've got towards lead, and that, that crew went north, then... Yeah, but you can maybe under rather than in. That's what I was thinking. You've come back out of under city twice now. That don't happen, so I'll trust your judgment. Find the fucker. Mm. Right. And anyone asks, we're just cleansing it in Sigmar's name. Mm. <laughs> Good luck trying to get in. I'll give you a letter to get support from my garrison. Much as that'll make much difference. The card burgers up there are, uh... well, put it this way, there's an old family there that like to make their own claims. Can I do a little politics check just to see mm -hmm. who potentially those families would be? Um, Lord politics or is, um, it... is not really going to give you the ramifications of the different situations rather than necessarily telling you facts Her about Her that. Three? One. One, can I just check because I might be able to circumvent yep. that? One of Ka Katerina's valets, the family, is from near Brass Keep, right? Near ish, not that near. Yeah, okay. Yeah, not that near. Okay. It's it's more just, it's over the bottom. No, actually, like, no, like no, he said, no, he like fought right I am Brass going Keep. to yeah. completely contradict myself <laughs> as I realize <laughs> that um, it's, uh, the it's, it's, it's it's the Ostland section. Yeah. yeah, so yes, he's from there. So we could get in maybe via the Ostland. Yeah, possibly as well. If you um, do that, I sense a side stream where somebody's going to be discussed with concerning this. Oh. Um, as uh, he says, cheers. He says, to cleanse and Brass Keep. Returning lost things. And we will be back in two weeks. 
because we're off next week. But during that time, I will be posting quite a few Tsai sessions, as you will find out. So until then, to brass keep we go. Boo! Boo!